I've pushed the button, which is always very scary, but hello everybody, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the RX 7900 XTX build guide. And I guarantee in this video, I'm gonna call this probably the 6900, the 70 something hundred, because time and time again, I seem to be making mistakes, but not today. This is a very big deal for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's NVIDIA versus AMD, and if you've seen my video yesterday, you will know that the performance of this is actually very, very impressive. The only thing that isn't quite so good is the fact that actually the tally lights aren't working on my, uh, my cameras, which is gonna be very confusing, but we're gonna work with it. We're gonna work with it. Um, but also the ray tracing performance of this card is similar to 30 series NVIDIA. So if you were happy with that, Fine, if you want the very best ray tracing, spoiler alert, Nvidia is still going to be the king. But personally, if it was me, as we discussed in the video that's coming out like tomorrow, or I don't know, the day after, Editor Carl is here. Uh, how long does it take you to edit a video? How long is it gonna be? Uh, is it just the build video? Uh, it's, a, it's a review of AMD cards, I suppose. Probably a day then. Probably a day, so you'll be seeing it in about two days time maybe we'll try our best but actually it's a good video get subscribed if you're not ready to watch that um and yeah we'll we go from there but there's going to be some choices today uh we've got loads of different gpus uh carl do is the stream working are we okay by the way the stream's working everything seems to be working okay we have a brand new 7900 xtx this is from power color this is their red devil uh this was actually in the forbidden box that i couldn't show you in the video last week, and it has some limited edition backplates that you can put on, um, like this one, they're magnetic, so they come off, and I guess you can like 3D print, and they do loads of different ones. That's quite cool, uh, but that's the size anyway of third-party cards. Uh, we also have the Tough 7900 XTX, which is just absolutely ginormous. I mean, look at this thing. That is crazy and frankly unnecessary, as we also talked about in the video coming up in a couple of days. Uh, for context, here is, I really don't want to drop these. For context, here is a 7900 XTX versus a 4080. And the third party cards just take it to the extreme. They arguably take it too far. It's quite annoying actually. They really don't need to be quite so big. Um, again, as we discussed in that video, temperatures, noise levels, as you'd expect, are fantastic on this, but it's just a bit overkill for the amount of power they will actually use. Um, and then, yeah, here we go. We also have the AMD cards. All of these, of course, were review samples. All the parts that we featured in this build are review samples. But you can see the actual AMD reference designs are much, much smaller. And I think for most people, assuming you can get them for the RRP, these are going to be the ones to go for. But it is actually a little bit harder than it will be with uh, the NVIDIA cards to get hold of our founders. And as we know, getting hold of our founders was very, very difficult as well. Carl, do we have any people watching? We do have people watching. We've we do? About, uh, about 200 people at the moment. Wow, 200? Really? That's impressive. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be streaming probably for about two hours until Carl's mum calls him back and says dinner's ready. <laughs> Is that accurate? No, no, no. I'm no. Gonna, I, I can make my own dinner. I can make my own dinner. I mean, you're almost 30, to be fair, so that, <laughs> that's probably true. Um, I wanted to do a size comparison very quickly uh, between this tough edition look and the standard. And... Let me know in the comment section below what you think, or in the live chat, I suppose, about the fact that AIPs are making these stupidly massive cards that are so overbuilt that they're just not necessary. And I think my theory, really, with all of these is just that they were designed for higher TDPs, and clearly both AMD and NVIDIA have decided that they don't need uh, such high TDPs, and then the AIBs have already got these cards. Um, and they don't really know what to do. They just have to sell them anyway. But the problem is you, the viewer, are the people that are going to have to pay all the extra money for things that frankly uh, you don't really need. So if you can get hold of a smaller card, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. Uh, if you can't, then obviously you'll have to make do with one of these or not buy anything. It's gonna be interesting to see how the stack lines up. But when I checked earlier, uh, links to everything featured by the way are linked down below 
When I checked earlier, unfortunately, it does look like they're sold out in the UK from the sort of top three retailers. There aren't any on Amazon either at the moment, so it will, it will sort itself out. My advice anyway is to sort of just wait and see what Nvidia does, whether they actually lower down their pricing. You don't really have a choice at the moment, it seems. I don't know. Carl, what are your thoughts? Um... I don't know, I think it's just a little bit overkill, isn't it? Nobody needs the GPU to run at 50 degrees, and you'd rather just have a little bit of a smaller, a little bit of a smaller card that just fits in most people's cases. I'm, I am looking at that case, and I'm not sure if it's going to fit, actually. Uh, I don't know. I think have faith. Um, there we go. Look, those are all of the cards. And I do want to start a poll. It's actually really annoying not having this tally light on, because I don't know where to look. It's like they're all off, but they're not. I can see that they're... They're, they're very much turn on. Me up a little bit. Was that? I think we need to turn me up a little bit. Uh, okay. Go for it. We go for two notches. How's okay. that? That better? I think so. Yeah. We good. Okay. Um, I would like you to do a poll, and I'd love the people watching to actually sort of control this video because they're, they're, we're going to start with question number one, which is which GPU shall we put in our build? We have a choice of two cases, but more on that in a second. But we have four different GPUs available to use today. So you can decide what I put in this PC. Proof that this is live and not rigged and things. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, actually, technically, this video is rigged, isn't it, Carl? What? Why is it rigged? It, why is it rigged? Because everyone was moaning, right? But we've finally done it. Oh my word, look at this. We have an overhead <laughs> camera. I won't get this bit in focus just yet because then the whole thing will shake violently. But if you're wondering why there's a big pole in shot, that's why. Uh, Editor Carl has come and rescued the day. So yes, we have a choice of four different GPUs. Can you make the pole for me, please, Carl? Uh, would you like the Red Devil? Would you like the XT or the XTX? Both uh, reference Founders Editions. Or shall we use this new tough card? And will they fit in our chassis? We'll find that out a little bit later. But a choice of four. Let me know, and we'll start this build. Uh, and then when we get to the GPU, whichever one you guys want, we will use. We will also need to do a poll about the case, but more on that in a second. We've got loads of different components that we're using here today. Obviously, GPU is going to be the main selling point, but we're doing a full PC build. You get to see all the ins and the outs, and I've realized my screwdrivers are over there, but I'll, I'll get them. It's okay. Don't you worry. Um, oh, I pressed a button. I don't know what I pressed. It's all right. As long as the stream still works, it's fine. We're using a Ryzen 9 7900. X, which is pretty cool. So you almost said XTX. It's not, it's a 7900X, not a 7900 XTX, uh, which I think is probably the Ryzen CPU to use for the XTX or a 4080, because at 1440p you will still see a little bit of bottlenecking, sadly, in certain titles. Even though the performance is very impressive, and if you enable smart access memory, resizable bar, you're going to have the best odds, if you like, of actually uh, being able to get the most amount of performance, but you will start to see some CPU bottlenecking in certain titles, so please do be aware of that. Uh, we obviously have our XTX that we've already spoken about. This is a very unusual motherboard, and I will be using it in this, and I do want to use it in a personal rig that I have coming up, so it's good to sort of get a look at this firsthand. Uh, but this is a very, very expensive motherboard. This was, what was it, about 550 or something yeah, when we were looking earlier? Crazy, but this is an X670E No Compromises Micro ATX motherboard, which is exciting, because I think Micro ATX is actually a really good thing, especially now that cars are getting so big you can't physically fit anything else in the other slots anyway. Uh, why not sort of just make full use of these cases that are designed for cards like that? And you can have a smaller rig. Uh, we've got fractal power supply. And we also have the new Lumen because these were recalled, or at least some of them were recalled because they were having issues with the manufacturing process. Uh, but if you had one, you can send it off there, replace it free of charge. And they've now uh, starting to roll the, the ones that have been fixed out. So actually I think fractal did do a very good job in uh, handling all of that. And technically it's their fault, but obviously they weren't manufacturing it. They got someone else to manufacture it. So it's also not their fault. Either way, I think they handled it well. What's going on with the chat, Carl? We have some DDR5 RAM as well. What's going on with the chat? Oh, sorry, I missed that. I was trying to check the audio levels, but yeah, everybody, <laughs> The so far the poll, uh, the Asus Tough has the um, has the lead with forty seven percent, which is problematic because it's the biggest one. But yep. that's okay. We're we're working with that. The is at thirty six percent. Okay, no people don't want the reference. That's interesting. That's eighteen percent. 
Maybe that's because we've already seen builds with the reference because it was a bit silly, but like the embargo, you've probably noticed, um, was that the founders cards were yesterday, or sorry, the reference design cards were yesterday, uh, and then the AIB cards were today, which is why you're finally seeing them. And obviously if we break embargo, then we won't work in this town ever again. It's a good, good impression, that one. Uh, so we have to stick and abide to that. When people were asking, like, why aren't you showing benchmarks in the unboxing video? Obviously, uh, that's why we'd love to break it, but you only break an embargo once, so let's, let's not do that. We'll put the cards to one side. This is noticeably heavier than this one. They look pretty much the same, but there's quite a lot more mass to that. I guess bigger heat sink or more thermal mass. Um, but yeah, we can actually kickstart our, our build, I think, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Carl, walk me through the comments. Who we got? Who um, uh, is joining got, us here today? We've got a few people today. Um, <laughs> uh, a guy called Sean, he's just commented saying, we want to see the tough in that case. So obviously, okay. he's, I, I don't think he's got much confidence for that one, either, neither have I. Well, we have two cases, so we, we, we are covered from all... All angles, but as I say, yeah, more on that in that a second. It definitely fit in there, if not. It will definitely fit in there, yeah. But obviously, if we, we get to the installation part and then we've got a change case, that'll be annoying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna start with this. But yeah, who we got in the chat? Give me some names. Give me some comments. Uh, Daunted two three two. Daunted Audio three two three. Good. Three two Doesn't. two. Daunted two three two. Two three two. Oh, two, three, apologies. Klostek uh, says, "Hello, lad." I'm, I'm assuming he's northern. Okay. Because he's said lad. I don't know why. Uh, That's quite a big assum assumption, actually. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe it's just because my parents are northern and they say lad. Well, I'm going to make this shot look really pretty. Look. Oh, look at that. Look at that overhead shot. It's like the meme. I There's think I feel pretty. commenting Red Devil. I feel like they're a bit annoyed that it's not got as many votes, though. Oh, oh what people are passionate about. Yeah, so we've got Sponge Borb. Sponge Borb. He thinks the tough is the most boring card. Uh... <laughs> Big slaps, Jason D. Red <laughs> Devil is the only way to go. Okay. Well, I'm there's still plenty here. of time. Get your votes in. Yeah. I feel like the people that want to see the Red Devil have already cast their vote, and they're a bit, a bit annoyed. A bit annoyed. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of options. I can understand. The, the Red Devil actually looks different, whereas the Tough does look like every other Tough. Here's the motherboard, look, everybody. Are you enjoying the overhead shot, look? It's, yeah. it's good. We're running on battery power, though, so that we're, that's why we're getting the, uh, the build done straight away, just, uh, just in case. But you can see, obviously, we have uh, one PCIe slot, and then, why am I showing the camera? I mean, this is the camera. It, it, it's a force of habit. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we've got loads of room for Gen 4 SSDs, or I suppose Gen 5 SSDs, actually, down the bottom here as well. Um, so you can fit loads and loads of different things inside here. Only two RAM slots, though, so do bear this in mind. You have this little Gen Z extension card. I think that's for additional uh, M.2 drives, I think. I can't really remember. I'm sure it's in the box. We'll have a look in a second. Well, let's do it now. Oh, it's good. It's some, something's very heavy in here anyway. This is, this is big weight. Is um, it like a riser card or something? Or a Gen 5 SSD cooler? I don't really know. Wait, hold on. I'm going to risk it. Here we go. We've Ooh. gone... It's going full manual. Yeah, we've gone full manual. Wait. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Is that okay? Maybe. This was a mistake. Let's go with that. There's <laughs> a bit of wobble now. That's all right. Sorry. Everyone likes a bit of wobble. Ta -da. That's now... There we go. That's about right. So yeah, this is our, our card. Look. So yeah, you can put additional storage on here. Gen Z.2. So you can properly max this baby out with loads and loads of storage. Just make sure that you're sort of buying plenty of RAM from the start, because obviously you can't do the usual thing of getting more sticks and adding it later on. So bear this in mind. Otherwise in the box you get like SATA. Imagine you're using SATA drives. I suppose that's more of a legacy thing, um, if you already have them. Uh, SATA cables and then you get a bag with something in. Um, I don't, I, what? Why, why do you need these things? Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, this is actually the little USB stick for drivers and things if you run into problems. Right. Oh, it's better than a CD. Yeah, I th it's quite typical now, actually. Um, that's kind of silently happened. Uh, especially if you buy a higher-end board, you're very likely to get a USB drive uh, rather than a CD, which is nice. It was, it was mad that they were doing CDs for like 10 years after people got rid of optical drives. I mean, I remember, I like to point out, when everyone was up in arms that uh, 
Max and things got rid of the optical drives because, oh, you know, discs, oh, DVDs, oh, all of this stuff. But obviously, in actual fact, you, you do need to advance. I don't know. Oh, something smells nice. I can smell my dinner, um, <laughs> which, is, which is nice. I have a feeling like it's going to make me hungry, but unfortunately, uh, I am out of action for two hours, which is a shame. Well, it's not. I, I genuinely want it to be here. Who else we got in the comments, Carl? Uh, we got a few people. Isaac Knighton. Ah, oh, he's actually asked for a shout out as well. I just literally saw his name. He says, hi, can you shout me out, please? Oh. So, hi, Isaac. Well, consider yourself officially shouted um, out. Wildlife at heart. I'm building my first desktop PC this Christmas. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Yeah, we all do. I mean, building your first PC is very nerve wracking, especially like Christmas, Christmas sort of time. I did mine in January. Yeah. I do remember it. I remember that so well. Um, I probably remember more about building my first PC than doing other things for the first time, if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did with my brother and my dad. I was like, I don't know. I've got the stuff, but I don't know what to do. Pretty much, yeah. Um, it was. I just remember feeling stressed. This was the thing. Um, I just remember it was a lot of money. Like I was earning at the time about four hundred and twenty pounds a month, and I'm, I had put everything towards this PC. And I think all in all, I'd paid probably about eight hundred quid. And I was like, well, if I break something, I've just worked for two weeks for nothing, right? It, it was it was big stress, and it did take a bit of time. And I remember I did get pretty anxious, but it did work first time, which really helped. I think it was it was a right mess, but it, it, it was pretty cool. So we're grabbing our CPU right now. Uh, this is a 12 core chip, 12 super fast cores, and we're gonna drop this inside. It's worth bearing in mind that you have to use DDR5 memory if you're going for Ryzen this time, so it can get very expensive. And I'd recommend most people probably don't go for X670E because you're getting all of these features that frankly you don't really need. Um, just, just buy an appropriate motherboard really. I've done a video all about choosing an appropriate motherboard, but the synopsis is that it's all about gaming performance for you, really. So buy a board that's going to give you maximum performance, but isn't going to cost you uh, an arm and a leg. It's still going to give you all the features that you actually need. Like if you need loads of storage and loads of uh, support for drives and things, then you need to go for that. If you need Thunderbolt or whatever it is, then buy a board that supports that. But if you're going for uh, g gaming and gaming only, then don't spend a load of money on something that you don't really need. So this chip is now inside, which is nice. Then we can grab our RAM. This is some Trident Z5. And again, personally, I would recommend going for RGB stuff because even if you're not a massive fan of Super Bright, I think it still looks a lot better. Uh, but this is my Expo kit. Um, and this is the only one I have, and it's not RGB. So while I think the Neo definitely does look better when you have it in RGB flavor, be aware that this is the Expo kit, and the AMD Expo kit should be more compatible with these motherboards. So if you do want to enable the fastest possible speeds and get the lowest possible latencies, it's probably a good place to start, though it is definitely not essential. XMP kits are fine too. It's just you don't have necessarily the same level of official support like you would with Expo. But we drop 32 gigabytes of memory down into our slot. This is our motherboard now, looking very pretty. You can see it is actually very simple to build a PC, to be honest. As long as you're doing it carefully, building on top of the motherboard box, fantastic. It is very, very simple. It's just a bit stressful and time consuming. Over to Carl with some comments and general entertainment. Please some do let me know, by the way. And general entertainment? Yeah, that's why you're here. General uh, a lot entertainment. Of people seem to be unhappy that there's no stock of the AMD cards. Which, um, oh, we it's not. Out, it's not surprising me. It's just that's generally what does happen though. Every time something new launches. Didn't with 4080. <laughs> but you know, there's a there's a reason for that. Although people apparently have now bought the AMD stock now that they've seen what uh, we have with Radeon. But I think people um, jumped to the gun when we were bleeding articles that it was actually going to compete with 4090, and now are disappointed that it doesn't. But I would have thought. That was relatively obvious, personally, but... That's generally what happens. So they always going to oversell it and be like, you know, if you just... Well, I don't think they did, ones. though, did they? I don't think they were... They don't think they were comparing to 4090. It's just articles and things. Yeah. I think they just compared it. Yeah, that's mine. You should have said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all over. They I think did think it was a bit over. far away. <laughs> I was like... I've contaminated. <laughs> Sorry. I just won't drink now, it's fine. Oh. 
I can pour it into your old uh, your old mug with old cold tea in Big it if you prefer. There. Yeah, that'd be right. I do drink cold tea. I'll be honest. Not not out of choice, but if it's a bit there and I can't be bothered to get up, oh, no. um, I do do that. I'm, I'm just taking apart this PCIe slot cover, by the way, uh, for the SSD. And because it's double sided, we have two layers of this little sticky tape to remove. Uh, but yeah, keep me updated with the comments. What's going on? Um, I feel disconnected. This is, feels like a, this is like an OG gamer name, Cod Gamers Pro. Right. Uh, with a Z. Yeah, nice name. Like uh, it. He bought the XFX Radeon RX 7900 XT. Yeah, okay. He wants to know what's the difference between the XFX version and the normal version. What are you paying more for? Uh, does, can he give us some info on how much more it was or what the price was that he paid? That would be a good it's bit of not, info. Yeah. If um, so if you the price, that might help. But yeah, that, that would help be... us. But essentially, you're getting a, a larger, larger heat sink on it. So if you look at the difference, again, between uh, these two cards. So this is the reference design. This is the power color red devil. You're getting a much bigger card, and it is going to run cooler and quieter. You will need to make sure that the fan curve is set up correctly if it's not out the gate. Um, but yeah, you're just you're paying for the extra mass, really, and you are paying for a little bit of greed, if I'm honest, with profit margin on having a larger cooler. Because obviously, an AMD will make the same amount of money, really, whether they make the card or not. I'm sure technically that's not quite true, but for all intents and purposes, let's say they make the same amount of money. Uh, regardless. Uh, so the AIBs need to make some profit and the way that they do this is by having these big beefy cards and traditionally this would be great because you'd get lower temperatures and people would want these lower temperatures um, and they would have cards that in theory would last longer, would run cooler and were just better. But we're at the stage now where these cards are actually really well designed and the stock thermal solution is actually pretty good. So it means that all of this extra money that you're paying doesn't necessarily get you any extra performance. And while it will lower down temperatures, it doesn't actually matter, basically. Which is quite quite annoying. Just like this that's, is actually. That's a nice shot of your head there. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I'm not used to this. I'm not used to this. Forgive me, please. Look, people moan. Oh, I went the overhead. We get the overhead. And now you're literally getting it. No, you are look. literally just going to get over it. Oh, there the we head. go. Look, that, that's a hairdo and a half. <laughs> this is why people come back. Time and time again. <laughs> uh, but yes, thank you for shouting that out. I, I appreciate it. So we're going to drop this in now and we're going to proceed. But yeah, keep me updated. What's We've going on? Two dollar donation from Brock, B-R-O-C. I remember him from, I think it was the last stream. Oh. He's donated two dollars. He wants to know what programs you use for benchmarks. Uh, it varies. It's pretty much a case of what people want. Um, I try and focus more on sort of real world benchmarks because mm. I think you know, like Gamers Nexus, uh, Linus, JC Sense, all of these, they, they have a very clear purpose. And I don't think there's any point in me trying to do the same perfect scientific testing that they do. Like when it comes to proper benchmarks, I will do that. That's fine. But I think it's far more useful for gamers to know how their card performs in games. And that means multiplayer testing. And multiplayer testing isn't something that people do in their proper benchmarks because it's not scientific. You can't replicate it time and time again. But if you're going to use your GPU for playing Fortnite, Apex, Battlefield, and you're looking at benchmarks of Shadow of the Tomb Raider, F1 2022, like, it doesn't really help you, right? It, it gives you relative performance, so you know whether you're, how well your card performs, like performance per dollar. Certainly has its place, not taking anything away from that because it's really important. But I personally think it's more useful for you guys to see the real world performance of these rigs playing the games that you're probably going to actually be playing with them. And that means live benchmarking. Uh, but tools I use will be FrameView, GPU-Z, um, fairly, any game that has an in-built benchmark really that's, that's current. Um, and I'll use a Carl. Yeah, I think frame frame view <laughs> seems to well, frame view seems to cover a lot of things now. You can get one percent lows. You can get the average FPS. Frame view is good, but it was stutter. It was causing some stutter actually on the AMD cards, and I only realised that that's what was causing it today, which was a bit of a pain. Yeah. Um, but there we go. Our motherboard is now complete though, and it is ready to go in our chassis, which is which is nice. But I think we need to choose a chassis first. Uh, first question should be, uh, what's happening though with the a uh, vote on the, the GPU. GPU. I think it's time to close the vote. I think the uh, the vote is in. The power color people were loud. 
but they weren't loud enough. Oh. The Asus Tough takes the W. Okay, what were the percentages? 49% to 37. Okay, so, okay, yeah, quite big. Okay, well, we use the Tough card then. Immediately, I need you to make a new poll, though, between yep. the Asus case. Whilst I'm making the new poll, I'll get you to answer this question. Yeah. Uh, we've got a super chat from Keegan Carew. K E. I, I, I'm. I'm just going to call you Keegan for now because I can't. Keegan Peel. Your name. Keegan K. Michael Keegan. P something like that. Keegan <laughs> Peel. Anyway, I, yeah. Uh, it says, do you have a preference with regards GPU brands when making a new build? I normally go with ASUS, mainly the ROG series, as I'm a hardcore fan. But do you have any preferences with regards to GPUs? Or? That's a difficult question to answer. Um, I think nowadays it's. Nowadays, it doesn't matter so much. No. Like, it used to be that cheap cards were cheaper for a reason, but now, even if your card's like, not quite so good in terms of thermal and uh, acoustic performance, as I say, it's already overkill. So if it was me, I'd look at getting probably like Zotac, the Palette, one of the like, more affordable ones. Um, Asus Tough, when that launched, that was perfect. That was perfect, but they're getting greedy. They're asking for too much blooming muddy. So... <sighs> You know, like Strix. Like, why do people buy Strix anymore? I don't get it. Like, I'm. It's it's it's, it's so annoying. Because again, Strix has its place. I understand. But if you're charging too much money for it, the whole thing is pointless and redundant. Like, take this 4090. This is a great example. And this isn't a Gigabyte Aorus exclusive thing. This is every single brand. They've strapped massive coolers on the top of them that aren't necessary. The stock 4090 is absolutely fine. So what are you paying for? What are you getting? What, like, I, it's just, I, it's just, it's just frustrating because at the moment they're charging too much money. So worry less about the brand. I'd always say consider the warranty because if you've got a card that has like a three or five year warranty over one that has one or two, that's actually a big selling point. But these days, if it's in stock and you're looking at high end card, they typically all tend to be quite good. But obviously, always consult reviews. So this is an interesting case. It's all mesh. This is the ASUS Prime case. AP201. AP201. Uh, we've got plenty of pretty cool features. We've got USB-C on the front. It looks a little bit more commercial, I think it's probably fair to say. Uh, but actually, if you like minimal, then it's very much that. The power supply goes at the front, and then it's a full micro ATX motherboard inside here. Uh, it's just a little bit longer, I guess, than some of its competition. So this is case option number one. Or oh, we've got this one, which is the Cooler Master. CMP320. CMP320, there we go. And this is a little bit cheaper. I think the Asus was around about £100. This one, we couldn't actually, well, I don't, you can buy it, just not from like the main places at the moment. I think it's just because it's brand new, it's probably still coming into stock. Um, but it's a nice looking, more traditional micro ATX chassis. You've got RGB fans on the front. You've got room for a 240 radiator at the top. The ASUS, you can actually fit a 360, so it's probably going to be better for performance. Uh, there's a gap for the fan at the bottom, but this one should be a bit cheaper, probably around about 60-ish or so. Uh, but these are our two options, so let me know which case you want us to actually use, and we shall use it. Over to you, Carl. Uh, we've got a few super chats that have come in. Um, we've got one from Alejandro. He asked, do you think it would be possible to get a 7900 XT before 2023? Uh, do you want the nice answer? The realistic answer. Uh, unlikely. I'd, I'd say no. It's, you know, it's going to be quite in doubt. there will be more coming into stock. I know... Oh, genuinely be a great time. The rumours are that there's like 100,000 units or something, and about 20, 30,000 were released maybe on launch day. So, statistically... Big yeah. chance, yeah. but obviously depends how many people are going to want to buy them. So keep checking every day. If you really want one, keep checking every day. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens with the 4080s because if people buy all the 4080s and they start to sell, they won't drop the price. People don't buy 4080s, NVIDIA will probably have to drop the price. Yeah, we've got a, uh, another $5 donation from Prime with two eyes. Ah, So Prime, I guess. That's very kind. <laughs> yeah, they've asked... I have, a new, I have new hardware coming today, 7950X, RTX 4090, so top-end rig. Wow, 49, I mean, 4090 is actually pretty brilliant. It's just very expensive. If the yeah. money is fine, you're going to love the performance. It, it, it is insane. You just need loads and loads of uh, CPU horsepower to go with it. Yeah, they've asked, they've not bought Expo RAM by mistake. Is it worth sending it back and getting Expo? Have you had any issues with non-Expo? Uh, what's the speed? If it's 6,000 megahertz or under, I can't guarantee, 
but as long as your BIOS is update, probably be all right. If it's over 6,000 megahertz, I doubt it will run on a AM5 system. Did we, did we sorry, say what system it was going to go into, CPU-wise? Do we know? Yeah, I think... If it's, it's Intel, um, obviously it's AMD, isn't it? Because he's also yeah. at Expo. Yeah, yeah. If, it's, if it's 6,000 megahertz or over, I would send it back, get an Expo kit. If it's under or at 6,000 megahertz, you'll probably be okay. Right, these are our two cards. Right, get your votes in. Last last couple of minutes to decide on the two cases. Again, you're deciding be close. between this Cooler Master one, a bit more RGB, got a window, quite blingy, or the much more tasteful, minimal-looking Asus Prime. But obviously, I don't know if they sell a window. They probably do, or might bring one out or something. Um, it looks like it should have a window. Yeah, it looks like it should have a window or yeah. something. This is basically like a even larger... NR200P, isn't it? I yeah. really like it. I think it looks yeah, good. Yeah, I think it's a good micro ATX size. And Slick. I don't know how big a card you can actually fit in this, though. Let's see anything. Oh, that's a point. Um, this one will fit. Oh. Oh. Ah. Bum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blow. <laughs> Do you want to double check the other case? Uh, okay. Well, actually, that's... Well, that's not going in here. Um... <laughs> I think that's fair to, to say. I think that front bit might remove. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm panicking unnecessarily. So the cable, uh, it's think... where the power supply cable is going to come out, isn't it? Uh, then the power supply probably comes out at the top. I th no, they must have thought about that. I think, yeah. Because they, they've sent this out at the same time. I, th I, think you pr I think you might be all right with that. <laughs> We'll, we'll have a quick do you, go. Do you sure. Double check the Cooler Master because that's got more votes at the moment. The Cooler Master? No, no, no. Like, we need to know. We're on this one <laughs> thing at a time. Like, we, we're not going to panic unnecessarily. I, I, I think this has been well designed, this chassis, uh, in terms of space saving. I think that was the point. And I, I find it strong to, hard to believe Asus would sell. Oh, no. How does it come out? It's probably in the. Oh, there. I, I find it hard to believe that they would send all this out unless it actually fit in. So, yes. We've got another $2 donation from More Brock donos. again. Uh, he wants to know what's on Marcus's and Carl's Christmas list. Ah, oh, I haven't bought any presents yet, which is... Pro no, that's not true. I bought, like, one or two. But I, in terms of a list... Uh, what do you want for Christmas? I, I can tell you. You might... Oh, no. Is this going to fit in? Ooh. No, it's fine. Oh, big bang. Uh, basically... No, uh, unless that slides up, this might slide up and along. It does look as if it will slide up and along, because I think it's modular. I think the way this works uh, is that if you're using a really big radiator, you have more room. So I think we'd be all right. I think we'd be all right, because there are notches up here. So I think this whole thing slides along. But we'll we work that out when we come to it. Worst case, we'll just have to use a smaller GPU. The okay. reference might be coming back. No, the reference isn't coming back. The The power colour is smaller, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, did a pointless vote. No, I, th I think we can make that work. Uh, as for the Cooler Master, I'll be honest, I'm not particularly hopeful. I'm... But this, this is the point. This is an, one of the reasons I wanted to have these cases and these cars, to show you the problems and why I think it's just, frankly, a little bit stupid. Um, no, no don't, don't get... Don't... It'll work. It won't work. But I think I think that's I that is a no no. I think that one. But then it will go. The, oh no! I think I th I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Uh, what are the votes saying? Uh, well, they're close. Fifty three percent are going with the Cooler Master. Fifty three percent. Well, this is very last chance to get your votes in. How are we doing for viewers and things? Uh, viewer. Whoa. That's gone up a lot. A thousand and fifty-five watching now. Thousand. A thousand. Wow. Okay. Well, you know what? This is a perfect time to do something and speak very heartfelt because th I promise this isn't something that's going to come out very often. But I have to tell you that over the last eight nine months, I have been stressed. I've been anxious. I have given up. I have come back to it. I've given up. I've come back to it. But I don't want. Don't want to sound like I'm plugging, but I am plugging because I have, as of yesterday, just unveiled the PC-centric merch, and I am honestly 
so, so impressed when this came in. I actually saw it for the first time and felt it because it is better than I could have possibly imagined. This is a completely custom uh, design. Um, obviously, the mouse, you know, other mouse mats exist, I'm sure, that have the, the same, same print, all of this stuff. But the actual design is completely custom. And that was designed. And here it is. So this is the official PC-centric mouse mat and is available down below, pccentric.store. And the way it's going to work is that this is at the moment a one-off. If we do not sell enough of these, then I don't think they even get made, which is big sads. Like, really, really big sads. I think we have to sell 300 of these. And if we don't sell them, then everyone loses. And I will, I will genuinely go and cry in the corner because I think this is awesome and I think this is going to brighten up your setup, look really, really cool. Look, we, we even put it on the other camera just, just for the sake of it. Here it is, look, the lovely PC-centric special edition mouse mat. There's your oversized GPU for comparison. It's actually perfect size if you have a 10 keyless keyboard. Here's our 10 keyless keyboard. There's our keyboard. It's not 10 keyless. Oh, it's not. No, this is actually stupidly big. Where's my 10 keyless one? On the desk. Yeah, it's, it's, it's anything that isn't absolutely ginormous right is going to fit perfectly on this. <laughs> here we go. Look, I'm panicked. Look, you can hear the emotion in my voice. Look, here we go. 10 keyless, mouse and keyboard. Perfect. So I'm, I'm hoping we have different sizes, so a slightly bigger one and a slightly smaller one a little bit later. But here is the PC-centric mouse mat in action. And honestly, I think it's amazing. If you already have a mouse mat that you love, Obviously, it's fine. It's all good. But if you're in the market for a new mouse pad, you want to help out the channel, and you want to grab yourself something that I honestly think looks pretty incredible, link is down below, or it's pccentric.store. We have to sell, as I say, three of these. No, 300 of these uh, in the next couple of weeks. If we hit 300, they all get made, and I can relax. But at the moment, I'm very, very nervous about it because I'm so excited to launch, launch this. I've got massive plans. I've got a couple other designs in mind, and I want this to be something special, but I don't know. I don't know how it's going to do. It's, it's, it's hard to say. So pccentric.store, grab yourself one of these pretty slick-looking mouse mats, and that is the best way to support the channel if you've been watching for years and you want to help us out. This is the best way of doing it, and you can grab yourself some pretty cool kit, if I say so myself. Carl. We've got a $2 donation from Garrett. Thank you for all oh. your content. It has helped me a lot. And oh, I've well, got a lot of other nice comments saying how they love the design of the mouse mat. Well, I'm so glad, because I wanted to do something that was obviously gamery, something that was a bit different. And I'm, I'm as I say, genuinely so, so pleased with I think what's nice how it came out. Like a lot of little extra things the more you look at it the more you see oh definitely around the top you can see all like the sort of circuit board design there's obviously the little glasses which somebody managed to spot in yeah the corner. i mean that's my new logo um for for merch it's meant to be like a little signature and you can't really see it here but actually um it does have a little pc centric sort of pattern on the bottom on the glasses as meant to reflect me which is pretty cool and we've got some sort of like motherboard lines on the top of this i mean if i like, there we go, like we're getting nice and nice and close. Like, there we go. Like, here you go. You see those lovely little motherboard lines? Here's my glasses. Look, this is actually really hard to do. Wait, wait a second. And we've got purple edges. I did ask you guys on YouTube in the, in the sort of community tab. You guys said you wanted this purple tab, so we listened. There we go. So it says PC centric in the corner. But the whole idea was I didn't want this to be some merch that. It was just like a logo on a t-shirt. I really wanted to do something that was going to take a fair bit of time and was going to come out and hopefully look as it does. So as I say, I'm very, very pleased actually with how it's come out. But anyway, we should probably get back to the build. PCcentric.store. Go grab yourself one. Make me very happy, but more importantly, make you happy when this turns up in your door when they start shipping next year. Over to you, Carl. Yeah, that's fine by me. Um, people have asked, what is the price of the mouse mat? Obviously, you've not mentioned that part yet. No, uh, $29.99 USD plus delivery, sales tax, whatever. Um, so I wanted it to sort of be in line, I guess, with, I don't know, like other, other gaming mouse, mouse yeah. mats and things. Yeah. But I mean, the design cost a lot to make. <laughs> so I'm definitely down a 
couple of, um, uh, yeah, I think all in on my investment in merch, I've probably put like two, three grand in it so far. So sad times. Um, <laughs> let, let's hope we sell some anyway. But honestly, I guarantee um, that, well, I like to think anyway, you'd really like it when it turns up. I suppose legally I can't guarantee it, can I? <laughs> but if you like the design, I think it's, it's great. Anyway, back to where we were. Did we get the question from Garrett? Uh, no, they literally just said, I love your videos and they've really helped me. Oh. Oh. And it was just a little $200 donation to go on. Oh, that's very it. kind. Um, have we got a final answer on the case? Because we have suitably uh, filled enough time now. Um, oh, we've just literally got a £10 donation. £10? From Hazy CRX. Already got a mouse mat, otherwise I would have bought one. But oh. here's a little Christmas cheer to you all. Oh, that's sweet. That's very, very kind. That is very, very kind. Thank and, you very uh, much. The case decision, 855 votes. <laughs> And 862 votes. Which one are we going for? Um, the Caller Master one. The Caller Master one, okay. I am, I, d I wouldn't say I'm surprised by that because obviously you can't see inside the ASUS one once you've uh, put it back together, but okay. Uh, that means we can go back to where we were and we'll try and get this in. So what I'm going to do right now is take off these PCIe slot covers, which I think you only need to take two off. We'll try it anyway. I feel like we need a banner that um, kind of answers some people's common questions, like, what do you do with all the PCs after you finish building the PC? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, cases don't hang around for very long because they take up a lot of space. Um, so those are moved on very quickly, but everything else is like just goes back to the manufacturer usually. Um, it doesn't always. Some stuff like, hangs around for years and then we have to get rid of it. but. Um, generally speaking, people lend stuff out. So like the 4080 Zotac, for instance, they've already collected that or they're arranging that. Stuff comes in, stuff comes out. Ultimately, you know, for ASUS and people, it's very much a business decision. They sent this out because they want this to appear and you guys to see it. So sometimes they get me saying, oh, this is great. Other times you get them, get me saying, well, it's nothing wrong with it other than it's overbuilt and it's very expensive. So if the price is right, grab it. But if you're going to be paying loads of money and 4080 money, I would get 4080. So in this case, it's probably not the best coverage in the world, but that's the way it works. You know, that's that's how it works. It's all about me being able to get access to make the videos and they want their products in the videos, really. That's, that's how it works. So people often ask, oh, how can I start YouTubing and get people to send me products? Well, you need to have a reason for them to send you products or they won't send you one. Yeah. Pretty much. The more videos you make, just basically make videos of the stuff you already oh, We did it! Look at that! That is a tight fit. But I think we I think that look, it can be done. I'm a bit nervous as soon as we put anything else in though. But I think it'd be right. That yeah. is where, pushing it. Where do the cables go? Um Oh there you go, look. Look at that, it's pushing it. Bang. How about that? Well, if it doesn't work, we have a backup. So I think it will be okay. People will get what they want. Let's press on. Carl, hit me with some, some comments. <laughs> and the other thing as well, don't forget people, this is live. I encourage you to leave as many comments as possible. This is your chance to get your questions answered. As long as it's within the realms of the topic, we will answer it. If you wanna know what I'm ha having for <laughs> dinner, I can answer that, it's funny. If you wanna know, I don't know, um, if, you, if you've got an i3, 6000 series processor <laughs> and you're choosing between a uh, GTX 970 and a old, I, I, that's not really, it's not really within the, the realm. So I think you understand. So we'll answer as many as we can. They're encouraged. Please leave comments down below. And if you get bored, then obviously go to pccentric.store, grab yourself a mouse mat. Uh, we've just got a £9.90 donation from Dimmy. Oh, wait, so I need to go back on me. Thank you so much. Like genuinely, <laughs> I, 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 I like stress, laugh and smile, but it, it honestly does mean a lot. So I, I do appreciate that. Oh my God. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to have to finish this one and then I have to get to the next one, which I feel is, uh, which is quite funny. Um, so Dimmy has asked, which uh, I've got a, a special place for this game in my heart. He wants to know, maybe not RuneScape 3. Kay. He wants to know where the RuneScape 3 benchmarks are. Oh. He wants to know if he can play RuneScape 3 with a 4090. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a pretty difficult game to run that. I feel like NVIDIA and 
AMD are, are really trying to get that game to run yeah. smoothly, but I'm just not sure that it's doable, if I'm honest. I feel like you should just be playing old school RuneScape instead, so, you know, <laughs> that's, that's my opinion. Yeah, you're quite a big <laughs> fan of that, aren't you? Uh, what's uh, going on here? I feel oh, like... So, we've got a $50 donation. What? $50? <laughs> that, this, that, that one took me by surprise. It's a very purple colour as well. It looks... It's come up Batman pretty. Wow. 50, uh, you could have got yourself a, a mouse mat from PC Centric Got Store for $50. That must be the real Batman for that sort of size donation. That's amazing. Thank you so much. $50. They said, thank you for your channel and everything you do. I've been watching you for years. It's so good. Look, I'm going to have to leave. Like, you know, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> um, I don't actually know where the pliers are, which is, which is why I'm, um, I'm moving about. Because there's a standoff here. If I show you, look. This standoff in the middle needs to be removed. This might work. I've got a mini wrench. Oh, it's not going to work. No. <laughs> no. No. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. There we go. Um, we've got another two. Brock, you don't have to donate every time. <laughs> another $2 donation from Brock. Uh, game of the year for 2022. What's yours and what's mine? Uh, actually, so far, I'm really enjoying God of War. I haven't finished it yet. Um, but God of War Ragnarok is, uh, is, is, is going pretty well so far. Really enjoying that. Um, what else have I played? I, I think I had to say God of War so far. Over on the PC side of things, what's come out? Um. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> like, what, what has I'm come out? I'm trying to think what's happened that's notable that I've wanted to play on the PC. I've not, to be honest, I've not, I can't think of anything that's new. I know, it's problematic, it's isn't like it? It's like Warzone 2, but I've not actually played it. Um. I played it a little bit, but not like properly. Um, I've just, honestly, I, I, I think I've just been enjoying games sort of as they've been, not as they've been coming up, but I've just been enjoying going back and playing older titles this year. Like, There's I, a lot I, of Elden Ring comments. <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to play Elden Ring, but I, I'm right at the end of Dark Souls 3 and I wanted to finish that first. Um, and I would have bought it for benchmarking, but it was only 16 by 9 and wasn't great. So I was like, oh, I'll, I'll pick it up a bit later, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I, d I just finished playing Shadow of War. I really yeah. enjoyed that. I'm only a few years out of date. But... <laughs> and there's me playing old school RuneScape. So yeah, maybe not the uh, most current gamer. <laughs> That's why you like benchmarking, because you get to have RuneScape on in the background, don't <laughs> I you? I can woodcut and benchmark at the same time. Yeah, you have to, you have to triple check all of your figures um, <laughs> as a result, but you get to play RuneScape at the same time. So happy days. Um, we've got a £2 donation from Tensor. Oh, thank you so much. I, honestly, I really appreciate all of these donations, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Um, but if you do want to contribute, like you can get yourself a mouse mat and you'll actually have a pretty awesome little mouse mat. It'll be like PC Centric is there with you. It will. You'll be able to look down and you'll go, wow, that looks really slick. And then you'll be the envy of all of your friends. Um, Tensor asks, what's better, the... 3080 Gaming X or Z Trio? I'm assuming MSI, uh, RTX 3080. 3080 Gaming X yep. or Z Trio. Do you remember the difference? Uh, was one of them discontinued in the end? I feel like one of them was. Or am I thinking of something else? Mm. They should be very similar. Yeah. Honestly, like all of the big boy cards, I don't think just, you need just the top end cooling solutions. <laughs> That's generally the way to go, isn't it? If you. The MSI. X or Z Trio, if one's severely cheaper than the other, just get that one. The way that they looks. Yeah, the way they've got around all of these like cooling things though is by making the cards thicker and longer. And it clearly is very effective. Because I I'm sure you do remember, but it doesn't seem that long ago to me that we were playing uh, games on ten eighty and those cards were two slots wide. Do you remember like the Strix? Ten eighty? Yeah. yeah. Compared to what we have now, it's it's laughable. It's really quite funny. Uh, there's our motherboard in though, guys. Look, that's in, all screwed in, ready to go. Reminder, if you're just joining us, this was the Crosshair X670E Gene. Uh, I but think we... the difference between the Z and the X is just the Z's a little bit bigger and a little bit better at cooling. So... Yeah, uh, I think the answer is I wouldn't worry about it. I would go for whichever one is cheaper. Yeah. Personally, don't, you know, I'm actually a big advocate for spending a bit more on things and getting better quality over cheaping out. But when it comes to graphics cards at the moment, uh, the price premium is just so high, it just doesn't 
doesn't often make sense, especially like pre-overclocked cards. I yeah. think I've shown people this enough times, but just as a reminder, download an overclocking utility and you just press, press like plus 50 and then you have the same as an overclocked edition card and you've saved yourself the money. Uh, this case loses marks because it doesn't have captive thumb screws. People laughed at me once because I got my knickers in a twist, wrong words, and I said <laughs> um, capacitive. Capacitive screws. Thumb screws. Like, no, they're not capacitive. We've got, oh wow, I've looked away for literally five minutes and there's been three donations in like three Really? Minutes. Yeah, okay, so, so let's so, quickly So catch kind up. of people. Just to do quick fire ones. Uh, Prime with two eyes is back. Oh, that's nice, greatly appreciate the help. I'm overnighting Expo Ram, so these parts don't just sit here taunting me for too long. Happy holidays, everyone. Yeah. So obviously, they're going to return the non-Expo Ram and just get the Expo Ram. I guess it makes sense just for peace of mind and if you yeah. want things to just Yeah, as long as the price is, is similar. It's just, um, I'm going off of the fact that I have used XMP Ram plenty of times, and it tends to be fine unless it's like super fast, 6,000 megahertz or above. 6,000 megahertz should be okay, but it, you know, hit and miss requires a BIOS update. Everything under that has tended to work first time, but then like the G Skill Z5 66 or 6700 megahertz kit, whatever it was, uh, that didn't really work very well, which is a shame. Um, we've got another $20 donation. Wow, do we actually? Yep. X U K E X. That's... And they've uh, asked, building my first PC this week with a 6900 XT. Will I be able to test it on a 60 hertz 1080p monitor to see what frames I would get at 1080p and 1440p? I don't want to over or underspend on a new monitor. Oh, so basically he, he or she wants to test different resolutions and work out what they can actually run. Yeah, I think so. I uh, think. Yeah, you can use what's called a virtual uh, super resolution, and I'm pretty sure you can do it for both AMD and for, uh, definitely do it for NVIDIA, fairly sure you can do it AMD as well. This is actually what I did when I had a, uh, 980, GTX 980. Yeah. Um, I wanted to know whether it was going to be worth it. I used this utility. I then actually uh, got the FPS. I captured it. I took it into a richer sound store and plugged it into a TV and looked at my footage in 4K and went, yep, that's worth the money. Um, and then I got a 4K TV. So yes, if you want to test performance, you can use a virtual super resolution. And technically, you know, it might not give you 100% accuracy, but it's going to be like 99.5% of the way there. So yeah, that's a good good, good way of doing it, actually. Yeah, yeah. then you can, once you've got your numbers, you can decide whether to get 1080p, 360 hertz, or if you want to go 1440p. I think with the 6900 XT, I think you should definitely be looking at 1440p, though. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, 1080p is a resolution for sort of like 30, 60 and under, really. Anything yeah. above that, 1440p is your friend, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've got a 179 rupee donation. Okay, from... I don't know the exchange rate, I'll be honest. Neither do I, I don't know what that means. But uh, from Joe, very, very appreciative. Asked, Where can I learn to build PCs to start a business? To start a business? Um, I guess the only place really is, is YouTube to learn to build PCs. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's what I try and do, like right now, yeah. right? We're showing you, we've got this uh, USB, for example, and we're plugging it into the USB header on this motherboard. Um, but I think the only thing, if you're going to do it commercially, is you'd need to be able to work out where to source parts at good commercial rates, and you'd need to learn how to install Windows uh, in like an enterprise manner, where to get the keys, how to do it in bulk, things like that. But I don't think that should be the most difficult bit about running a business. I'm just plugging in the connections now, by the way. Can we zoom in? Oh, we can. There we go. Yeah, you can. And we've just got an another... Uh, New Zealand dollars, 40 New Zealand dollar donation. Really? Uh, from Aiden's RC channel. Thank and, you so uh, much. But uh, again, you can get you, if you're going to donate $40, you can grab yourself a PC centric mouse mat and you get the mouse mat. You've got some as, you've got as well. Physical PC centric merch. You, get, you get full gear. Uh, <laughs> he's asked, how's the water cooled Corsair build going? I'll tell you what, I'm still using it because. It's still living. Yeah, I mean, Thea was playing um, Planet Zoo on it yesterday, so it does work. It's just the CPU, when you benchmark it, um, in Cinebench, it hits about 97 degrees, so it's still not installed properly. Um, but for gaming, it's fine. So it's like, what? 
what what would be the point in me buying a new block and getting it you know 20 degrees cooler when for when I, when I'm never going to be maxing out the CPU like it's just, it's not worth the effort really it's it's a shame but I'm I'm sure I end up doing a, a new water cooled build completely um, and that will just make more more sense really it's, I've got a it's good a shame question here from oddguard111 um I think this is quite a good one. Is it worth spending something like four thousand US dollars in twenty twenty three on a DDR four build? Yeah, I'm. Um, I would quite happily recommend DDR four. Um, yeah. I would have and no problem um, with that whatsoever. Yeah. It, it just 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 because it's not as good. Obviously, it's not as good, but you can get more performance from a better graphics card with DDR four than you can with a worse graphics card with DDR five. So kind of. Unless you're purely buying it like longevity reasons, I just think it makes more sense, personally. I think a lot of people, when they do build a PC, they overlook one of the most important things of their budget, which is the monitor. Yeah. Some some people might spend thousands on the PC and then skimp out on the monitor. So if you've got the extra money, I always think put that towards a better monitor. Yeah, GPU GPU first, but also yeah. GPU as long as you have an appropriate monitor, because. Buying a 7900 XTX would be completely pointless for playing at 1080p because you get bottlenecked at 1440p. Yeah. You know, you need a decent CPU. It's, it's really backwards. My advice has always been uh, with these builds that you need to sort of save on the CPU and get like what I would describe as a gaming CPU, which is like price to performance, something like a 12400 or probably, let's be honest, not that long away, 13400. Uh, but it remains to be seen how good that advice is when you're buying a high-end card because they do get bottlenecked. So you need a good CPU as well, which is really weird how it's all changed around so quickly. Uh, I've plugged my I.O. in there. I know it got a little bit fiddly, uh, but just to show you once again, this camera's probably a bit dark, sorry. We have plugged our little tiny ones in down here at the bottom. Uh, we then have our USB 3 here. We've got HD audio down at the bottom left. Uh, and if we had USB-C, it would go here, but I don't think that this actually has USB Type-C, which is, it's annoying. I don't think it's going to bother, actually, most people. Yeah, look, we've got one USB 3 and one USB 2. This is actually a bit of a lower rent case. I think the Asus one is going to be the better case uh, for a lot of people, but then this one might look better, so, and this one might be cheaper as well. Uh, yeah, give me some more, more questions, uh, Carl. Um... Free Taker 5, what's your favourite Christmas movie? Oh, that's a good question. I only watched The Holiday for the first time last really? year, and it's great. I watched that again this year, a few days ago. Did you have a little cry? No. No, it's fine. Like, I, I, it. I'm I've more than happy times. to admit <laughs> that I, uh, I love getting all nerdy. I love an emotional response to a movie. If that means crying, more than happy to cry. Yeah. I think, uh, I think my favourites are still Home Alone. One or two. I don't know if I've ever watched the Home Alones all the way through. Like, not really? out of choice. It's just, I, they're just I, it's on just, TV. And you just might... never been on. Yeah. Like Elf is quite good as well. Oh, Elf's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good to go on this one. By the way, ready for the next step. Yeah. Uh, which is going to be to put the cooler on. But I probably should have done. Oh no, it doesn't matter with this board <laughs> actually. Um... What about Die Hard? Oh yeah, actually, yeah, that's a lie. That's my favorite. <laughs> like genuinely, I watch that every single uh, Christmas. Big fan of that. Massive fan of that cooler. Shall I put the GPU in now? Because uh, as soon as the cooler goes in, it's going to take up space. So I think I'm going to be. I think maybe go power supply first. Get the cables in. Well, it's only down the bottom, though, isn't it? It's got, I think it's going to be hard to put the cables around once the GPU's in, though. Um, I'm not sure. What's going on with our fans? I don't think I've plugged the fan in yet. These better not be. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Are those? Is Are these a, what is I think it is? Is fan? I don't. Surely not. Surely it can't be that bad. This is a Molex connection here. Oh my god! It is this case. Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Well, we need a Molex for that. <laughs> did did wonder what was going on there. Um, okay, we'll put the power supply in next. That's fine. I will listen to Carl. Carl actually usually has good advice. <laughs> usually. Usually. Most of the time. Most of the time. Have you ever... What, what's the worst bit of advice you've given me? 
Um, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever given any bad advice. I advised the, the overhead setup, and it seems to work just. And then right. I broke your previous. Yeah. One. I, said, didn't I? I advised against using against using that one. No, you did not. I said it probably won't hold. <laughs> 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 and then it broke. <laughs> I mean, you're spinning me badly here. <laughs> That's um, my job. Yeah, we're using the uh, Lumen S24 RGB, and. If you missed the start of the video, this is the recalled new version that shouldn't have the impurities that was affecting the original. This was something that actually affected quite a few AIO the manufacturers. The, um, is that the same one with the radiator offset bracket thing? Put I, know, I think you had that issue with the 360, didn't you? Yeah, that was the case. No, oh. that wasn't this. And um, the oh. pump is actually in the. Uh, oh, what was yeah? The pump is actually in the radiator, um, and I think. I don't know if it's the same factory, but I think MSI had some sort of issues, and I think they used the same sort of design, so that could be why. Could be made in the same factory. Not entirely sure. Uh, but yeah. Uh, keep the comments coming uh, in, guys. Got a $5 donation from Carbon Kids. Oh, thank uh, you so much. Thank you so much. I Carbon got Kids. A problem, though. ROG Z670. Z670. Z6 oh my god. Asus ROG Z690 Maximus Hero shows error code 16. And the H100i displays a red triangle on startup. Any okay. Thoughts? Is that? Have you had that before with the? Uh, if I've had, if if your cooler, the Corsair cooler is flashing red, that usually means uh, that the cooler is not working properly, and the error might be that your CPU is hitting 100 degrees. Oh, is it um, when the USB isn't plugged into the cooler? Maybe. Mm, USB C. You double check everything's plugged in, but it might just be a like a. Uh, Failure. I had an early access uh, one of those. It was a H100i Elite Capellix, and it did that. It had to go back. Um, I don't know if it's new or not, but yeah, that, that could be a overheating problem. So if you have a different heatsink, try putting that on and seeing um, if it fixes the issue. Make sure everything's plugged in, fan headers, all of that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, we've got another one dollar ninety nine donation. Oh. oh she asked a question. They just said new PC i5 12600KF. 32 gig of RAM, 3050, 2 terabyte of storage. Very good. I guess. Oh, yeah. All good. Sounds yeah. fine. Yeah. I mean, obviously, yeah. 13th gen i5s are out, but um, depends all about price, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. We've got we've got another $100, or another. We've got a $100 donation. $100? You could have had two PC Centric mouse mats for that, uh, available at PCCentric.store. It's Batman Pretty again. So this wow. he must be the real Batman. He's, he's, uh, he, he did buy a PC-centric mat did he? as well. He just wanted to send some support. He oh, seems to do a lot of great work. That's amazing. That yeah. is actually like $100, mate. Thank, genuinely, thank you so much for that. Um, that will go towards a bonus for Carl for Christmas. Ah, oh, thank you. He's Batman having a pretty. bonus oh. uh, this month. Um, I, I'm going to keep your payday the same. Yeah. Just because it's complicated <laughs> to change it, so it'll be up just after Christmas. <laughs> fine. But you can have a—I I thought it'd be great uh, Christmas uh, Christmas bonus. So uh, everybody's a winner. Everyone's a winner. We will uh, we'll siphon off some of uh, Batman's epic donations. So thank you oh, so much for that. Thank you, Batman. Thank you very much for that. He's also got a question: How, how many PCs? Oh, no, no, not answering his question. <laughs> How many PCs do you reckon you've built in total, would you guess? It's got to be about 250 now, doesn't it, I think. You reckon 250? Yeah, 250, something like that. Yeah, it's a lot. I, I can't believe it. $100 donation, that's insane. And 50 from earlier. So, 100, wow. $150 yeah. donation. And a mouse mat. And a mouse mat. <laughs> and a mouse. But he'd be happy with a mouse mat. Yeah. He'd be well, very, that... very pleased yeah. with a mouse mat. That I can, uh, that I can't guarantee. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I'm confident. I'm very, very confident. Uh, that needs to blow in, doesn't it? So we grab our fans. Let here we go. Uh, move this here, and this is this bit gets a little bit complicated sometimes. In focus, yeah. This is complicated because you're almost doing it backwards. So what you're doing, you're getting your fan, you're pointing it uh, out this way. I think. No, you're not. So you're doing the opposite. You're, you're pointing the cable this way. Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's you're to I told you it was confusing. So what you want to do, I'll start that again. <laughs> what you want to do, make sure fan is blowing into the radiator if you want it to exhaust out. You then do this little test where you 
hold it all together like this, you pick it up, and then you bring it around, and you put it into the case. And then if you've made a mistake, you'll notice before you've screwed it in. Here, I have probably made a mistake, really. Depends, depends how you want to do it. I mean, it's not set in stone. You could actually uh, have it like this if you wanted to. Uh, depends where your pipes and things go, but generally you want your pipes to be this side, which means that actually the fan cables need to be facing the back, so it's nice and neat and tidy, which means that it needs to be like this. <laughs> Easier to show you than to tell you. So when I put it back facing downwards, we want our fan blowing into the radiator and these cables coming right out. So once it's inverted, it all makes sense. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Over to you, Carl. Uh, someone's just given us a really good bit of advice. Okay. Um, I've, I've lost where it's gone now. Oh, it was Lenny to the Quantum. They said, add a direct store link to your YouTube link page, please. So obviously, YouTube homepage, so we can click, go onto there, then click onto the merch. That website. makes a lot of sense. That's I'm, it, I'm also in idea. the process of setting up the merch shelf which means that every video it should appear under. Oh, but good. I need to set yeah. that up, because uh, I think people just don't know about it yet, because I've promoted it once. No, including today, twice. So... <laughs> We've got a uh, two, dot, two pound donation from Nathan Bray. 13700k, 4080 build, just ordered. Let's go Team Green. Team Green. Team Green. Well, I... Throwing some shade on Team Red. I make absolutely no... But here's the best thing, right, about PC gaming at the moment. It's been in a bit of a crap situation for the last couple of years, but it is genuinely in a in, in a better, not a great, but it's in a better place now because you have competition again. I mean, you look at what's happening with CPUs and suddenly you're getting ridiculous levels of performance all at really competitive prices. Whereas if you think back to, like, the, the worst was, like, this 7700 from Intel, and it was basically almost identical to the previous uh, 6700, and it was still a four-core CPU. Intel just didn't really need to do anything. Um, they could just sort of release slightly better CPUs every year. Obviously, AMD come along and say, actually, man, no, we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to release an eight-core chip. Intel were like, well, we don't need eight cores. And now look at them. They're selling, what, 24-core CPUs on the i9? Yeah, they're keeping, keep, keeping up even overtaking. Really, with the yeah, it's like flip-flopping, isn't yeah. it? So, and the prices are actually getting more competitive. AMD thought they could launch their Ryzen's uh, a little bit of greedy price. They've already come down. They've yeah, already yeah, come really down. Quickly. So, uh, yeah, we're, it's, um, it's in a better place now. And I think no matter what you buy, Team uh, Team AMD, Team uh, Green or Team Red, you're actually going to be quite happy at the moment. Oh, we've got a £5 donation from Maybe. That's a, that's a good name. Maybe. Maybe yeah. maybe you do have a £5 donation. Yeah, maybe, maybe you, you do. Maybe he has bought a, a, a mouse mat as well. Maybe says, not. Uh, buy yourself one second of British power consumption. That's that's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, that is that is that is funny. Um, yeah, it, it's not great over this here. sad but true. It's like, I think it's like 30-something P a kilowatt hour or something now. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, approaching 40, I think, for some people. Um, Adam Christo, £2 donation. He wants to know if you want to go into detail when connecting the power supply cables to the motherboard. I certainly can do. What sort of detail would you like? Yes, where they go and how they go in. I think we can do that. We can do that with our new overhead camera. We can. That will probably run out of battery before we uh, manage to complete it. But yeah. There we go. Hopefully, uh, we should be okay. Um... This is an interesting one. Do you think um, the 6750XT will be bottlenecked by a Ryzen 5 7600X? No. Uh, 1440p. Repeat that again, just so I'm 100% clear. But I don't. Uh, 6750XT at 1440p. So, oh, 67. 67, not 69. Yeah, 6750. Yeah. I, I think you'd be, yeah. in the vast majority of titles, 1440p, I think you'd be fine. Yeah, I think that you're going to be fine with that one. Jetrology. I, think, oh, I just realised there was a £1.79 donation as well. Thank you very much. That's very, so many donations so today. Many donations. That's can, really, really kind. It's uh, Christmas time. How are we doing for um, views viewers. and things? Uh, yeah. Current concurrent viewers is 
about a thousand still. Really? Yeah. I honestly, I love just having you guys along. We were talking about this, weren't we, earlier today? Because the first live stream we just did as an experiment, really. Yeah. The second one we did, kind of a little bit better. A little bit better, <laughs> and hopefully now this time we're we're sort of in in the swing of things, able to enjoy it with you guys. Actually, answer your questions as we're doing things, but just have a good time. Yeah, um, definitely. I mean, uh, everything look all right. I know it's not going to look quite as good as like the, the real graded PC centric videos, but hopefully it's close enough. Um, audio and thing is fine. Yeah. Last time, Carl was a bit quiet. So, yeah. is he? Can you hear him okay this time? Is he yeah, got? Nobody's complaining. I can hear myself a lot better. Has he got enough bass? En enough bass. Yeah. Need more bass. Need more bass. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another five dollar donation from Chandler Ratliff. Uh, just got an Intel 13900K. Should I pair that with an RX 7900 XT? 13900K yeah. with a... 7900 XT. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I would go i7 XTX, personally. Yeah. But um, both yeah. of those are, yeah, I think are that, fine. Yeah, that's probably good advice. Save a little bit on the CPU and then get the better GPU. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the performance will be a lot better. What I'm doing here is just daisy chaining these cables for neatness. Um, and then we're going to have the RGB and the fan speed will go out of the back when I plug this in. And hopefully it shouldn't require too much cable management. That's the plan anyway, if you're wondering what's going on. This is usually the bit of the video that I'll cut out or at least speed up. Um, I said this in the last stream because uh, this is obviously what it looks like in real life. But then when I'm doing it and playing it back, what you see is, right, grab these cables, fit them around the back, plug them in the top. <laughs> now we're going to move on to this. And it's like, actually, yeah, you're just going to be sort of uh, playing with cables for a while, but it's all good. It's all good fun, really, isn't it? <laughs> Lord Nibs has asked, have I got to run off and let my dog out again? I ha No, I haven't this time. No. The dog's fine. The the dog's uh, mummy is here, so we're all good. The dog's very happy. She went out on a nice walk in the snow, so she's happy. What, your dog? My dog. Oh, I thought yeah. it, it's not all about me, is it? No. Sorry, sorry. Um... <laughs> They're asking about me, Marcus. <laughs> they don't want you to go. It was. It, it all got a bit I dark. Had to, I had to left. run away last You did, time. that's right, because the dog needed you. So. Yeah. yeah, dog was happy, actually, wasn't it? Yeah, very happy when I returned. Your dog is hilarious, though, because it has like the most... It's got a very aggressive bark, <laughs> but it's actually such a loving creature. Yeah. You turn up, and it's like, woof. <laughs> <laughs> woof. Woof. <laughs> yeah, when she, I, I had to take her out today. She literally, I don't know how she did it. She managed to pick up her lead and her ball in her mouth at the same time. That is impressive. And then bring them upstairs. And I was just like, oh, I guess I've, I guess I've been chosen. Feel free not to answer this if you're concerned about privacy and security. Yeah. Uh, but what is it? What does it say on the front of your your house? The <laughs> uh, the, the temporary oh, uh, sticker this, you've got up. I can't even remember. I've just blanked it out. I think it's like, Santa, please stop here for the most loved Labrador. <laughs> that was a... Uh, well I, looked I didn't after. Buy that. Well looked after Woof. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> oh, no, it's a good dog. She's, like she's dog. a good dog. Um, we've got another $2 donation. More donos. Oh, and, and more are happening. I look away for... Two minutes, and then there's three more donations. Well, people are enjoying your uh, your dog stories. I they think are. that's all I've been it is. I'm by the dog story, and people are donating. Um, what motherboard would you recommend for a 5800X3D? And is it still worth buying? Motherboard? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, like Strix Gaming? Something yeah. that sort of like, like not, not, sort of thing. not the cheapest one, but almost one below the cheapest one. Yeah, especially when it's only like a 65 watt part. It's... Uh, <laughs> They're, they're quite a... No, the 5800s we use about 120 real world. Yeah. I think it's rated at 105, but it yeah. uses slightly more than that. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to put you down there. Oh, that's fine. So, uh, no, well, Carl. He is PC-centric, he should know. Um, Matthew Connors with a $5 donation. <sighs> Was up early and bot bought everything before I could even blink an eye. AMD promised the stock. What's the, an the answer for someone like me waiting on a GPU? Uh... <sighs> I mean, the best thing I would today suggest is like what I had to do when I got mine. Yeah. Is sign up to the Stock Checker Discord. Yeah, they're quite good, and, and then you can uh, work as a t community. Yeah, you, they they send you notifications. You can sign up for different cards, different products. I think I got my PS5 through there, and I managed to get a 3070 Ti through there as well last year. So uh, yeah, yeah, StockChecker.com I think it is. They're easily the best way to get. Uh, a GPU if you're struggling. 
That is very good advice. Oh, very good. Oh, hold on. I need to plug my PSU cable in, don't I? Before mm -hmm. Oh, it's not actually too bad. I think it's doable, actually. There's plenty of slots. I think I'll be all right. I'm going to risk it. Could be terrible advice. Oh, I've, I missed a donation. I'm sorry. Pla it says platinum, I think, but it's kind of like platinum. 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 Two, do two euro donation. Um, Ryzen 5 5600X, 32 gigs of DDR4, and they got a 1070. What sort of GPU upgrades should they be looking at, do you reckon? Uh, the 5600X and 32 gigs of DDR4. 5600X? Yeah. Uh, if you want to go for one of these new super, super, super GPUs, you will need to get a 5800X 3D. Yeah. I think that is a given at this stage. That is risky. Yeah. I don't want to let that go. That's, that's playing with fire, that is. Um, yeah, you're, you're 5800X 3D and then... One of the new AMD CPUs, is, uh, GPUs, sorry, is a good bet. Yeah, um, the older, like the 6900 XT is really cheap at the moment. Yeah, the, the 5800 X3D is a clear upgrade. I would do that over going for like a whole new board and things. Like, yeah. I think that makes more sense. Like genuinely, I would recommend that. Have I plugged this in badly? Or is it just, oh no, it's just twisted. We've got a 10, I always say this one in the wrong way. 10, yeah, yeah, 10 New Zealand dollar donation. Oh, it's Aiden's RC channel again. Uh, would you do a collab with Linus if you could? Yeah, I feel like he would show me up because, I mean, the truth is I am an idiot, right? <laughs> and uh, I can edit that out, but I feel like he would leave it all in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd be interested to know how much Linus has learned on the job because I feel like I learn so much new stuff every year that I'm only now genuinely starting to feel like I really understand, you know, not every everything but every part in a computer and you know like specifics about how they work and advice for each things i would say i'm in a really good place uh, with understanding everything but then linus is like different level you know yeah but, yeah i think um he lives and breathes what he does he's doing it 24 7. he does and has, and has been for you know since he was like I don't know, 15 years ago is it yeah, probably something yeah. like that. But then, as I say, I mean, I almost deliberately want to stay um, a little bit more in touch, I guess, with purely... I want to be, like, the definitive, like, advice for, for gamers from a gamer sort of thing, um, is what I try and be. So it's, it's, it's difficult to sort of be really relatable and almost, I don't know, have... You see, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm explaining this badly. Yeah, I think you want to be. I think if you. Get, I want. I want to do really it from a gaming channel, point of view. You feel a little bit less grounded. You feel a little bit less relatable. Yeah, I think there are gaming. There are gaming channels um, that are just games, and then there's like super in-depth, everything, tiny detail channels. I want to be in the middle. That's what I want to. I I I want to be basically. I want to make. Yeah. I want to make complicated things easy to understand. Uh, without going into detail that people almost don't necessarily need to understand. Like, if you want to learn more about that, that's fantastic. I will touch on certain things, but I will also not touch on things. Yeah. Um, like, like, almost like a conscious decision, I haven't really spoken too much about the fact that the memory speed is different in the 7900 XTX um, versus the 4080, like it's GDR6X versus GDD GDDR6. And on paper, you know, it's not great. But all that I think matters is gaming performance and FPS. Um, it, you can mark AMD down for having that, but it's cheaper, and if it doesn't make any difference to your FPS, why does it matter to you? That's the sort of point I'm trying to make there. Um, yeah. I just want to make sure we're yeah. focusing on gaming FPS, and that's what this channel's about. We've got two more donations. Um, Coral Freezy with 14 ZAR. Oh. what that is. Um, but what motherboard do you recommend for a Ryzen 5 5600G? Oh, 5600G? Yeah. Um, as one that you can update with USB BIOS flashback, because obviously that was a newer CPU. So if you buy a really old off-the-shelf motherboard, it might not support it. And if you don't yeah. have USB BIOS flashback, you might not be able to actually get it working without a different CPU, which would be a bit of a pain. Um, but again, I wouldn't spend masses of money because clearly if you're going for that CPU, then you're 
trying to save money. So yeah, I think um, entry level is fine. Yeah, like a B four fifty sort of. If it says that it's updated, then I think a B four fifty that's up to date is probably good enough. Like a B four fifty Tomahawk or that sort of thing, I think would be a good bet. Mm. I'd uh, say so. We've got another a fifty dollar no a fifty um, Swedish Krona donation. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. all pretty awesome. My yeah. sister's in uh, Stockholm at the moment on work. Oh, that's nice. I don't think she's tuning in, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, is it normal for a 5800X3D to hold 90 degree in games? Yeah. 58X3D? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, 55 degrees idle? It's got a water cooler mounted up top. Uh, oh, that sounds a little bit high on the idle, but I remember when I tested it, it runs pretty hot. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought the... Uh, X3D wasn't that bad. It's 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 a lot worse. Um, it's a lot worse than the, the uh, regular X. regular yeah because of the 3D cache. Because uh, the regular ones were like 70 degrees sort of thing if you've got a decent AIO. Yeah no they definitely run hotter than that so yeah that is high but I I as long as everything's working properly I'd say that's probably fine. Um, I remember it running hot. I do remember it running hot. Yeah. Um, 13, someone's just asked, more vids, 13900k, normal to hold, high 80s to 90s, yes that is normal. <laughs> oh. My brain's wearing away now, I'm trying to actually work out how the cooler works, and <laughs> live stream, there's and a, There's a comments. few comments in the, in the uh, yeah, saying the, the classic PC-centric line about radio. No, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking about it, I'm they've, just they've thinking about it. it. No, you've not said it wait yet. a minute, I'm being silly. I'm undoing the thing that we need. So I, it's all good. This isn't radiators, technically. This is just any mounting. So we don't need to undo the thing that we need. That would be, ah, be silly. <laughs> it's all good. I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I would it be easier to do that lying down? Well, it would, but I've only just taken it off by accident. So. Oh, that's going to say. Oh, oh no. blow. <laughs> <laughs> No, all right, whatever. Um, so for context, I realise I've not explained what I was doing. I was just trying to work out how the radiator... You need that bit. <sighs> yeah, yeah, thanks for the help. <laughs> just trying to work out how this radiator goes in. I'll zoom it in so you can see. There you go. And some coolers, you have to remove these default AM5 or AM4 mounting posts. This one, you need to leave it on. So all I'm doing is just undoing the fact that I'd taken it off. And then we use the catches to get this nice and safe and secure. So I'll put these back, back in. Uh, these bits always face opposite the CPU, so down and up. Get that in. Like so. If this goes wrong, it would be terrible. But I hadn't even thought about that. I have not uttered the phrase yet, have I? I've done very, no, very well. I think that's obviously things are going to plan. So far, so good. All right, we've got this cooler, and we hook that over the top, and then hopefully we can do the same with the bottom. And then that goes on, giving it a little bit of force. Oh, hold on a minute, Let's get, have I done that? I've done that upside down, because I'm a numb, but then, yeah, I've done that upside down. <sighs> I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. Oh, that's quite annoying. So I could read the instructions, couldn't I? That would be the, the smart thing to do. Uh, but these clips need to go on the other way, I believe. So instead of facing down, they face up. I think. But then how do they face up? They can't face up. Can they? No. Oh. <laughs> What have I done wrong? I don't, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, um, this is thinking out loud, isn't it? I think the plate maybe needs to be facing the other way. So we take this off like this. Does that look? That makes more sense. Does, that, does it? Does it? <laughs> no, because you want the screw to be. No, that does make sense, yeah. Uh, the screws are upside down now, but yes, that's oh. how we do it. Did you put the screws in? Look, we don't need to talk about what happened. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Uh, oh, oh, oh! The battery's run out. We've lost camera two. Oh it, no! Oh no! Camera three. It's a disaster. I don't think we need it again, do we? Other than, I guess, power supply cables. But we can just show that with the. 
I mean, you can like, put, um, pop it on to charge if you want. Charge. People asked for overhead, and we, we kind of delivered. You can't take it away halfway through. So I'll pop it on. Okay. See, this, this you don't get this in normal videos either, do we? <laughs> Man down. Man down! Actually, we do. Camera down happens quite a lot, doesn't it? And I'm always moaning about that. I'm like, <laughs> camera down! Are people enjoying the fact that we've got this overhead camera, though? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think so. Uh, Have we had any comments? Do people appreciate the the uh, love and care and attention? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Garrett's just asked, why don't you hardwire the cameras? We, we, we thought about that, Garrett. but um, We did. We don't have the length. Don't have the girth. <laughs> we need more length. That is a, a problem at a PC-centric <laughs> HQ. The... It's <laughs> <laughs> good, good one. Good. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can't do the overhead anymore. Oh, no. Oh, but there's a... Uh... <laughs> Someone said, uh, Ann, Ann Stroyer has said overhead cam is the reason for all those donations. That could, oh, that could be true. There we go. That's what we like to hear. Um, we could have it on that way or earlier. It looked as if the best way was going to be like that. That looks better, doesn't it? I don't think it really matters. I'm no. just, we did get a five euro donation from Platinum again. Yeah? Um, they said they recently upped their specs to what, we've, what they mentioned, so the 5600X and the 32 gig. Yeah. And uh, they want to upgrade the GPU. They're, so obviously, if they've just upgraded, so they probably don't want to go for a 5800X 3D. Right. So what sort of GPU do you reckon? I think hey. maybe... Um, Where's the screw gone? Probably like a 3070 or a 3080. Yeah, especially now they're going to get cheaper. If you're yeah. happy to get one used as if well, have, yeah, bargains definitely. to be had. Used, amazing value. Used used market's about to kick the the hell off, isn't it? Yeah, especially like sixty nine hundred XT, sixty eight hundred XT. Their their perf like performance is amazing for the price, especially even used because I think you can get the sixty nine hundred for like five hundred pound used. Well, yeah, I, I I've, <laughs> like even sixty nine fifty XT and the stuff, you know, like it's, it's... they're like seven hundred brand new now. That's mad, yeah. Yeah, I'm now doing up the cooler. This took a long time. Oh no. But we've done it. I mean, the screwdriver's a bit small. Where's my big boy? Here it is. My comically large screwdriver. People in the comments in the last video when I said about Linus sending me one, they're like, oh, he's going to get one before me. I guarantee Linus <laughs> is not going to see that. He doesn't care about me, and he's not going to send me one. And am I going to beg to ask one? No, I like my Magnuson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is very good. I've heard good things, though. Right, there you go, that's in. I've left, left it with a little bit of slack so that I can pop these power cables in at the top here uh, next, which is cool. So yeah, we're um, ready for power supply. Okay, well, um, whilst you're uh, pausing for a second, I need you to uh, look at the camera for me because we've got a $150 donation. A what? <laughs> from Batman Pretty again. $150? Is this like a joke? Uh, last one, I promise. Oh. Batman. Oh my. That's very kind of you. That's unbelievable. Um, last one, I promise. What got you into computers and PC building in the first place? And what was your favourite build? I mean, that's two questions. That's two questions. I think he's, oh, I think we're I allowed think it. he's definitely allowed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, you caught me, caught me a bit there. That um, is a, that's a massive donation. That is a massive donation. Uh, well, thank you very much for that, for starters. Uh, that's Anyway, so, sorry. Um, so God the f God. first question was about why I got into computers. Was this, get, yep. Read it again, sorry. Favourite um, PC build. So your favourite build you've ever done, that you could think of. Yep. And uh, what got you into PC building in the first place? I suppose, not gaming, just okay. building. Okay. Um, favourite build I've ever done... I quite enjoyed my first ever water cooled build. Actually, that was a good fun one. Uh, it, it was Portland it, Corsair Hydro. It was yeah, it was yeah. soft line. Uh, it was filmed in my parents' living room, which is why the the decor's a bit funny. <laughs> but that was really good actually. Um, Gareth was there to help me with that. That was good fun. Um, I, I did enjoy that. I must admit. But in terms of like normal builds, I guess anything that just I've sort of put a lot of time and effort into and has come out looking good. Um, I really like the white one we did a few months ago with the uh, that was a nice build. The blue cables. Yeah, the, the NZC H5 yeah. or the H7 build. Yeah, that, that was, that was blue pretty. Blue thumb screws. So that really worked. Went together really nice. That was nice. That was very nice. 
Um, and then why did I get in computers? I just went around a friend's house and he had one and it was like, whoa, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, and then I went back. I, re I still remember the exact like gameplay footage in my head as well. Mm. Um, I then went back, played on the Xbox 360, Battlefield 3, 30 FPS, and just went, nah, man. <laughs> nah, man. Uh, or maybe it was Battlefield Bad Company 2, whatever it was. Um, yeah. Yeah, Battlefield 3, I don't think it had come out. And I, 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 yeah, I was, it was immediate obvious that I, it was no good for me anymore. Yeah. It wasn't enough. The world was not enough. We got another New Zealand $40 from Aiden's RC channel again. This wasn't meant to be a money making exercise. <laughs> the money making exercise is meant to be the merch. That <laughs> means you get a lovely product and we make money. Buy the merch. Um, but the, I'm certainly not uh, knocking the donations. That's honestly so kind. Thank you so much. Aiden's really appreciate RC it. Channel said, Batman's going to make Marcus cry. Aw. <laughs> it's very, very kind of Batman. I love Batman. Very, very, very kind. Oh. Um, these cables will make me cry if I can't get these through as well. What have we got? What have we got comments wise? You've done a good job. Just keep the comments what do you coming do in, guys. With all the builds? Do you sell them? We've answered this one earlier. You yeah. Don't sell them. The they parts just... go back or they get reused. Yeah, exactly. Unless they've like been lying around for years or they're like a big <laughs> bulky case and we just get obviously move that on as quickly as we can. Yeah. Um Is it worth upgrading from a thirty eighty TI to a forty eighty? 3080 Ti to a 4080, probably not. No. No. I, I think you. You get better ray tracing, but yeah, I mean, better surely. Better ray tracing and some better performance, but I think the price, the amount, the amount you have to pay for the amount extra you get isn't worth it. No. Especially when the, re, you know, the second-hand price of the 3080 Ti isn't going to be great at the moment. No, I wouldn't say that's value. I mean, you know, 4090 would be an upgrade but obviously that's so extortionate I'm, I'm, I'm still using my 3080 ti like i have access to the hardware um the reason it's not on my rig obviously is because it's not you know i'm using it for work but the point is i've not even like grabbed it one night just to have a quick play or anything like that because while the performance is great i still stand by the fact that most people don't actually need that much performance so don't feel obliged to get super high in gpu like the exciting stuff is probably still coming when we're talking 4070, uh, 4070 Ti, if that comes out, um, 4060, all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just worth kind of waiting for the 4060s and 70s, really. Yeah, exactly. I would, I would agree with that. Oh, this is going to be really tricky. They, they've got a um, addressable RGB here, but it's facing the pins up. Oh God. Oh, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> what was it? Maybe she's... Oh, I don't know Maybe anyway, she's born it. with it. Yeah. Maybe I'm born with it. Maybe it's centric. Well, you're trying to get the uh, fan header in. The what? The CPU. You, what, can you try no, I've done it, it now. Uh, it was this addressable RGB here. Oh. Really tiny. Tiny weenie. But yeah, I think our fans are in now, which is good. Just needed... I say tidy up around the back. We've already done that. So we just need our power supply and GPU now. I wasn't going to put the radiator in. Oh yeah. Because the whole gonna... point was that when we want to put this graphics card in, just the uh, no. Oh. That was the whole point. <laughs> oh my god. I hate radiators, <laughs> honestly. That that's my fault. That isn't the radiator's fault. That's my fault for being an <laughs> idiot. It it's all right. I did it. Li oh. <sighs> it's just like it doesn't even fit, lol. <laughs> no, it does fit. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear words like that echoed in this chat. <laughs> even if you've donated an obscene amount of money, Batman, don't you doubt my methods or my techniques. <laughs> uh, I am. I am an expert. Like I said, I was born with it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Like, so, what? Go on, say it. The way is it the pipes then? 
The tubes. The pipes, the pipes are in the way. Yeah, pipes are in the way. No, I was going to say, you take the front panel off and go in through the front, but... No, no, that's all good. Honestly, this is fine, because <laughs> all the screws were loose. I'm, I'm happy with this. I, I literally have a screw loose. <laughs> oh, no, but I've plugged in the blooming... The thing you spent 10 minutes trying to plug in. Oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? Right, here we go. Here's our graphics card. The graphics card is heavier than the case. <laughs> Aiden Zarchi, RC channel, was um, very impressed. Uh, are we ha no, we did have this fitting, right? We did definitely did have this fitting, oh. didn't we? We did. I've done it already, right? But I um, don't know what I did. Is it the RAM? Could be the RAM. This is Look, um... Ma, no hands. <laughs> this Th this the is the entertainment. Just full of lol. Ha ha ha. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Um, Pray to the PC gods. Okay, we'll take the RAM. <laughs> now, this is why people. Oh, look, look at that. That uh, is perfect. tragic, isn't it? There you go, it's in. Just get a riser cable, it'll be fine. Oh, sorry, it should be this camera. This one looks way worse. Uh, That's what we're dealing with here. This is just. Annoying. How will that fit in the case? Um, With perseverance, it, <laughs> it fit in there before the motherboard was in, right? We've had it in, haven't we? We've, um, we've, we have. No, we have. It was in there, yeah. Kind of. But. Uh, it's right now. It's that bit. That bit. That size. That's it. Oh. No. No? Uh, it's now on the cooler pump head. Oh, no. I did say, didn't I say I should get... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like uh, someone's probably going to clip that. <laughs> oh, you can clip now. I don't know how yeah. it works, but I know you can do it. Um, I feel like I don't want to give up, actually. I feel like I feel like the cool. <laughs> I feel like it's doable. So let's just undo everything we've just been doing, <laughs> and we come back. Uh, <laughs> just get the power cooler out. People oh, I've, are saying. I've, I've scratched my CPU cooler already, oh, no. which is lovely. Oh, goodness <laughs> sake! Fun times, guys. Fun times. This could be you, but this is why I do it. Better than I do it than you do it. Oh, it's not ideal to take you. CPU cooler off, but there we go. Right, right let's so try uh, again. Just don't knock it off. Oh, wow. Well, I don't get it. Because <laughs> we did have it. <gasps> oh. No, 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 it's not going to work. No, <laughs> no. This is, this is frustrating. They, they, they knew this was going to happen. They knew this. this that's why they voted for it. They chose the smallest case and the bigger card. They knew because... what they were doing. I, I I, think it's possible, but also maybe not, because I don't know what else I can do here, really. Do you, do you want to take a two-minute break to answer some donations? Uh, I, I, think, I think technically it can go in. <laughs> it's just you can't get it to go in and line up. So when the motherboard wasn't in, we got it to line in because there wasn't any, any resistance. Because you could get into the uh, slot covers at the back a little bit easier. Yeah, but like... What about that way round? Oh? No, 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 no. no now the no, uh, no. I.O. shield's It's away. just bad news all around. Um. I admit defeat. <laughs> That's it. I'm afraid. <laughs> Asus, you made your card too big. This is the sort of problem people are going to have now. And you can... Sorry, this is the sort of pe problem people are going to have now. You will ended up selling a GPU that's too big. It doesn't need to be this big. Um, let's see if Power Color. Where are they? Power Color has done the right thing. This, this look. Yes, yeah, see, look. That's fine. Why couldn't they just do this? Look, not a problem. Not a problem. Although actually it is still a problem. <laughs> but it's a fixable problem, this one. 
Right, let's take this off. Oh. Yeah. That will go in. We're happy with that, yeah? Yeah. We're yeah. happy with that. Okay. I do want to now have one last go with the tough. Are the comments entertained? Are people at least uh, getting their money's worth? People are saying take off the front panel. Oh my god, just use the power colour. <laughs> no, you can't take... Just, just stop. <laughs> you, can't, you can't take that off because it's the front comes off, the actual cage bit. Take the motherboard out, fit the GPU, then push them both. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> good advice that. What about the fans? Take out the fans. I don't think they're in the way, are they? No, it's the the actual shell bit. Uh. Oh, 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 that's horrible noise. I think that's it. I think. They doubted me! <laughs> they doubted me! Ha! Wrong! Yeah! That's why I'm PC-centric, and that's why I don't quit. Look at that! Epic. Easy, easy. Like, that is worth buying a PC-centric mouse mat. <laughs> like, 100%. There's just loads of W's in the chat now. No. W is good, isn't it? Yeah, that means F, F is bad. F is bad. Or an L, that's also... <laughs> yeah. That's uh, good, that. I, I'm, I'm glad. I almost gave up. But there we go. I mean, the power colour, I would have happily put that in there. But that would have been too easy. Um, we've got a couple of donations. I'll answer them whilst you quickly screw that in. We've yep. got one from uh, Mongay004. What kind of power supply is necessary with an AM5 build? Um, uh, 850 really for yeah, like top end. I think it's worth buying a thousand watt power supply to be honest though, because then that's yeah. fine for like all GPUs really. I also, I think one one thing. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at. Do you understand how much clearance we have here? Look. You that's can't actually get this. Width. Yeah. Like that's that's what we're dealing with. Um, so I've done well there. Yeah, I think 850 watt power supply is fine, and at the end of the day, power supply, la if you buy a good one, it can last you several yeah. upgrades. Yeah, I'm still using one from like 10 years ago. Yeah, same. I've still got like an EVGA one that's still going. Um, oh, we've got a nice one here. Um, from PC Gamer Girl Fi, F-I. Um, your channel is the reason I was able to confidently build my PC. I love your content. Oh, thank you very much. Well, that is why I'm, that is legitimately why I'm here. Um, I do want to sort of help people after they've started their PC journey as well. I think that's still a bit working out, isn't it, Carl? How to, how to go from like predominantly doing builds to sort of doing a bit more of everything. Yeah. Um, it's been a tricky one because at the moment there's just obviously so many parts coming out and I want to make sure I have a build of everything. You know, like not necessarily every combination of everything, but at least you've got like a 7700X build or 7900X build and then obviously you had all the GPUs. So it's been a bit tr tricky, but we've been doing our best and I think um, we've been happy with what we've been putting out, but I do want to do some more testing on some of the other things as well. Yeah, I think... Um... Once all the uh, massive overload of parts slows down a little bit, obviously we can focus on a few more other things we want to test out. Well, don't worry. It's only rumoured to have like another NVIDIA GPU coming out soon. Was it the rebranded 4080s, 4070 Ti? I've heard. Yeah, that's due out heard soon. Rumours of the, about that. So we'll see. I don't know. You know, I mean, I imagine they're true, but you never really know, do you? Because I mean, I don't know what else is going to happen to the 4080. So I mean, yeah. I mean, are they also going to be new laptops and things? We're probably due for new laptops. Yeah, I think that's usually around CES time, isn't it? They, yeah. they launch the, the new version of the laptop. Yeah, it's hard to say. And even if they like do announce something at CES, like I don't know when they're actually going to come out. But that's worth thinking about. Right, RAM's back. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We're laughing, look. We're laughing. Well, we're not laughing because this this is a mess. So we need to get the mess around the back. Which is easier said than done. God, I, I'm. It was worth it in the end. I'm glad I persevered because quitting is not not a good thing, is it? We don't like quitting. You're here to show people that anything is possible. 
Yeah, except for my video where I said everything is possible <laughs> and it got like no views, which is a sad time. I mean, <laughs> and that's why I like doing the streams because the streams you can actually like talk a bit more frankly as well. And it's all like part of it. Whereas the algorithm, obviously it sees videos where you sort of do a bit of a heart to heart as like not, not, not good. So yeah, that's not your, the content you make. Therefore no, not happy. you stay in your lane, <laughs> which is a shame. So yeah, if you want to stay in your lane, if you want to see me talk a bit more openly about stuff than the, that anything is possible video is up. <laughs> We've got another $10 donation from yes. Jezza HB. Jezza HB. Yeah. Um, she says, thank you so much for giving Oh, me... Jenna, sorry. Oh, it, this is Batman Pretty's hus um, wife. Right. Uh, she says, thank you so much for giving me and my husband, in brackets, Batman Pretty, so many laughs watching your videos and inspiring us to do our own builds. Last one only took two hours. <laughs> is that the build or the stream? <laughs> uh, all of the above. What's the time? We said, yeah, we're going all right. We're, we're, on, we're on course for our two-hour target, but I think, yeah, two hours isn't too bad for a building a PC if you not not when it's been this uh, complicated to be fair yeah you can speed build some things but if uh... if you're not live streaming at the same time yeah uh, you'd be fine yeah like it not I, th I think actually though two hours is probably a good target for a build anyway yeah because you don't want to rush it no because um, if I rush stuff I get stuff wrong so I'm not saying I'm better at it but if you haven't got much build experience then you're probably more likely to do something wrong if you sort of rush it so yeah um i actually had at my previous place um one of the guys that was sort of looking after all the people that just moved in uh, he took an interest in like the channel and uh, parts and things and apparently he did buy all these parts and then he ended up like dropping something on the cpu socket and like ruining some other parts. oh no or like maybe drop the cpu on the socket and damage both yeah Damage the CPU and the pins. Yeah, it's not the best going. Uh, but yeah, he <laughs> managed to do that. <laughs> Jezza just left a comment saying, you dropping things is half the fun, though. It's Well, me, yeah. yeah I'm, does, I'm getting a bit uh, more cocky now. You're getting worried, Carl, when you watch some of the footage back. Yeah. Because um, it's It'll usually... Just, just pick up a... For effect. <laughs> I'll stand here. I'll be like, right, plan it out. Plan it out. What camera? What camera to? Um, I'll, I'll plan it out, and I'll like start a video by going... The RX 7900 XTX is here, but then I do it wrong. I'll say my words wrong. So I thought, right, okay. The RX, and I'll be doing that over and over and over again. One of these days, I will drop this. <laughs> it's like do it about like three or four times just to get it sounding right. And Big it's stress. Just like, oh, what if he drops it? What if he? <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you remember when that laptop I dropped not that long ago? The what you dropped? The famous laptop one where it's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that wasn't the best, was it? And I think the uh, 13900K like launch video, the CPU fell out the socket. Oh, that w how that still worked? That was amazing. <laughs> that that People was. People just said, imagine if you just dropped that live. <laughs> well, then you'd be able to clip it, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, and power color would would not be happy. <laughs> no. So it's all fun and games until you actually uh, drop it. So let's not do that. <laughs> Right, that's in. We're good. Radiator complete. Takes ages, but you can get there in the end. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Supply cables, I guess. Yeah. Normally, I do the GPU last, but as we've as we've seen, um, this was not the easiest thing to fit in. But it can be done. So I have to take it back. ASUS, your GPU is not stupid. It's perfect size. It's too big. Just, just hopefully those uh, front panel connections are all in there, and there's no issues. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Don't say that. What if they've come out? Because I, I couldn't even jump them because I can't see them. I, I probably could. Let, let, let's, let's worry about that later. It's all good. It's all good fun. It's all good fun. Uh, bring me up to date with the comments. Uh, what's happening, please? Um, <laughs> someone said he forgot to connect motherboard cables. I don't think he no, did. I didn't, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Um, Brad T says, are you going to show benchmarks? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> the problem is, the benchmarks last time that I showed um, were 1080p, which is kind of pointless. And in order to get everything set up, that's almost going to take like 45 minutes yeah, an hour. It's yeah, like you got to download everything, update drivers. That's the issue. Windows. So it depends. <laughs> we'll see. 
we we will see. Um, I, I definitely want to get it a signal, but don't you worry. In terms of all figures and everything, uh, tomorrow we have no the day after. I've Seems done tomorrow. Battlefield on this exact GPU. Actually, we've done Battlefield. Well, I can tell you. How about that? At the end of the video, I'll tell you exactly how many FPS this got on everything. But we did Battlefield, <laughs> Warzone Two, Apex Legends, Cyberpunk. RuneScape 3, <laughs> the works. So yeah, uh, there you go. I'll, I'll give you some gameplay benchmark numbers at the end. I promise if you stick around. Um, also, because it's been a while, don't forget if you're new, uh, PCCentric.store, the new merch has landed. It would mean a lot to me, but it would also mean a lot to you because you get this lovely thing on your desk and it is perfect for anything that isn't an absolutely ginormous keyboard like it's perfect size genuinely perfect size with 10 keyless um it's great size with anything smaller or bigger i think 10, 10 keyless or oh, it's, it's, it's beautiful um but there'll be more sizes hopefully available but we need to sell 300 units or they won't get made and everyone will be sad um but yeah i'm planning to reinvest all of that into merch and do well and do like big big merch plans so if you want to grab something yourself something special, help out the channel like you've never done before, unless you're Batman with the ridiculously epic donations or you, anyone you else could say, that has I want donated to be like Batman. by the merch. Huh? You could say, I want to be like Batman. Yeah, exactly. Batman could... has a PC-centric mouse mat. He, he right has. <laughs> he has bought himself a PC-centric mouse mat because he's, he's, he's epic. Doesn't his wife need one, though? There's two computers. <laughs> Just, maybe they ordered two. Maybe they ordered two. Uh, what am I doing? I've forgotten. Power supply. Yes. Now, Batman's left a comment saying, thank you for your wonderful content. You and the tech chap are our favourite tech YouTubers. Oh, no, not Tom. <laughs> no. Oh, no, not no, Tom. No. We don't talk about Tom on this channel, except for the fact we do, because obviously, we obviously do love Tom. I went to his wedding this year. It was yeah. lovely. Do um, you both live in the same town? We do not. And you know what? Tom's like big talker. He's like, when he moved into his place last year, he's like, oh, you know what? As soon as we get set up, be great. You have to come over. <laughs> I've asked him like two or three times, like, when do you want me over? And he's like, oh, I'll talk to, I'll talk to Sarah. <laughs> come John, on. John Travolta meme. Yeah, exactly. Come on, Tom. <laughs> up your game, boy. I mean, I know I do like make some smells and things, to be fair, but come on. Yeah, it does, yeah. I would happily, uh, happily see. Here's the thing with Tom, right? Tom is so invested in his work, he doesn't tend to stop. Uh, whereas I've learned that there's only so long you can do that before you, you go a bit insane. So, um, yeah, hopefully uh, he will uh, he will slow things down because I uh, bless him. I, I don't want him to get burnt out. Uh, this is an 850 or 860 watt power supply from Fractal. It's rated as platinum for efficiency, but I think you can buy one that's not quite so efficient if you want to save yourself some money. Um, the overhead camera, someone said they wanted to see this, didn't they? Yeah. Hopefully we've got some more battery. Yeah, we good. Is that going to turn itself on? It should do. Yes! There we go. That was very enthusiastic, wasn't it? Right, here's our power supply. Make sure you always plug in the cables to not only the right side, but also that you're using the cables that came with your power supply or you're 100% confident are fully compatible and built for your PSU. So if you're, I don't know, getting some from cable mod, make sure they are compatible. Because usually they won't fit into the same holes, but worst case scenario is they fit into the same holes, but they aren't actually the same pin out, and you essentially blow stuff up, which is fun. These are our PCIe. These are the ones that are going to be used for our graphics card. Uh, like someone pointed out in my last video, you don't want to daisy chain them if you can help it, because you get cleaner power, um, and in some cases you get more power um, if you're using the uh, using more connections. So these ones rather than daisy chaining. But I did it in the last video because I just wanted to test and see what would happen really. People said that's why mine was crashing, but I don't <coughs> think so because it only happened in one game. Uh, what do we also have? I also got our CPU cable. We need to plug two of these in because we're going to be using quite a lot of, our, lot of power. Uh, we don't need SATA connections. This one is SATA here. We do of course need our big fat ATX. Um, that is the that is the other side that goes into the computer. This goes into the power supply. Is this useful? Do you think, Carl? 
I think so, yeah. It's something that you don't really see that often. It just says, plug these in. Yeah, we kind of assume that you know, but that's not actually very fair, is it? Uh, so we've got two of these in. So piece IE. I'm going to daisy chain one because um, it shouldn't matter because usually you only have two on this graphics card anyway. So the extension one, you're not going to be using the full amount of power, so I wouldn't worry about that, to be honest. Um, but we do need another PCIe. No, we don't. I lied. We do need another CPU down here at the bottom. And then we also need a Molex, don't we? Because we've got some horrible fans that are, are big sads. Big, big sads. Molex fans is sad. Right, we'll get that all connected. I've got a decent question here from Fluber Jobby. And what are you saying? The other questions aren't decent. I, I, I You're insulting that. the viewers, I said, Carl. We've got a decent Do you want a job? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't leave, please. <laughs> Yep. All right, anyway. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> After my, uh, after my panic. Bloober Jobby. I just yeah. wanted to say their name, if I'm honest. Okay, yeah. Um, they said, obviously, the 48-inch OLED monitor you reviewed was obviously on the large side. Yeah. Do you think the 42-inch Asus or LG one is uh, probably something you'd recommend more? Yeah, well, here's the thing. Yes, absolutely recommend it more. Um, I would not recommend a 40 eight incher to anyone for their desk personally. Um, people will, you know, pe I'm sure people strongly disagree and that's great, you know, that I, I, I encourage people to disagree because it's personal preference. But the problem I have with recommending even 42 inch monitors is that they're so big, there's a high chance you'll get it and you'll find it's too big. Whereas if you buy something that's really good but a smaller size, you've less chance of wanting to go bigger, I suppose. Um, I just, I don't want to recommend a big monitor to people when I honestly think eight out of 10, maybe nine out of 10 people will think it's too big. Mm. Um, so unless you have experience, maybe you've borrowed like 42 inch TV or something, or you've got 40 inch and you think it's not big enough. Unless you've got experience in that field, I probably would recommend getting yourself something smaller. I love my 38 inch monitor, the ultra wide, but even that is massive and it did take me quite a long time to get used to. Yeah, I think ultra wides just seem to fit in on desks a lot better. I remember the first time I used a 32 inch monitor, like a 16 by 9. Yeah. I thought, this is really big in your face monitor if you've got like a small desk. Yeah, exactly. It's just as well, like you can't focus properly. Um, I find it's the issue um, when you have such a big, big monitor. Um, you can't see everything. So, especially for FPS and things, I just don't think it's worth it. Wait a minute, what's going on here? What's going on here? Oh, there you go, I've done it. Oh. No, that was a good click, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, be fine. <laughs> be fine. Uh, we've got a $5 donation from Matthew Connors. Oh, thank you very much, Matthew. Um, really appreciate that. Sitting on, so I'm assuming this is what they must have, um, 7950X, um, and a B650 motherboard. 7950X, yep. Yeah, and a B650. Oh, B650, okay. Yeah. B650 Is it a higher end one? Pro AX. So. Okay, so that right there, uh, if you've got it, fine. Uh, but that is quite a, an out there combination uh, because those boards, while they technically will work, they're not necessarily really built to deliver loads of consistent power. So for gaming, you'd probably be all right. But if you're looking to use that rig for a, a load of other like continuous strain applications, mm -hmm. you might find that the longevity of the board isn't what you want because they're, they're not built to the same level of power delivery, really. I mean, you know, it's fine. But if you, I'm sure if you spoke to Gamers Nexus about it, they'd be able to tell you loads of reasons why um, they, they're not a fan of sort of like entry level motherboards and high end CPUs. I've not personally had any issues, but just like to make you aware of it, um, I wouldn't certainly wouldn't overclock or increase the power. Sorry, yes, interrupted you. Yeah, um, yeah, so they've got the B650, uh, 6000 megahertz vengeance RAM, uh, meshed by two light, and what sort of GPU would you recommend? Or, oh, they've also said, and any changes you would make. Okay, so, so he's not bought the parts. No. It's yeah, don't, buy, don't do so. not buy that motherboard 
with that level of uh, CPU is yeah. not is not for that. I think. Like, I, 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 sorry, Scott. I'll yeah. just also say you might find as well. You might find as well if you look at the top of the motherboard, like we have here. Uh, you've got these two eight pins. On a lot of the B650s, you only have one, which means you're limited at 150 watts of power delivery. So you're leaving all of this performance on the table because it's caps, caps out at 150, when actually that was using what, like 230 watts? Yeah, 200 watts? That, yeah, 220 watts or something. So you, you, you're not able to access all of that power. So yeah, um, high-end B650, I'm sure is fine. Yeah, maybe B650 Extreme. Well, not even that. Even you, if you bought like a Strix, though. like a Strix one or one of the high-end B650, makes sense. But I wouldn't buy uh, the the really cheap B650 and the 7950X. I wouldn't do that. No. There you go. Answer this question. That's probably quite useful advice. Yeah, I'll just double check the motherboard. The one they said B650 Aorus Pro AX. It's got an eight pin and a four pin. So, so it could deliver, but I still wouldn't trust it. It's on the limit there, isn't it, really? Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I think, you know, for that sort of price, I think you're, you're not far off. It's 329 for that one anyway, for the B650 Aorus Pro AX. Yeah. So you, you're really not far off 670, 6, 650 extreme price. Yeah, but remember though that the ch the thing is with the chipset, the chipset you're paying more for like licensing and the extra features um, of the board, whereas you're not necessarily paying for the quality of like the capacitors and things. Um, so you you might find that the as I say the power delivery isn't going to be so good, um, yeah. which does does make a difference. Yeah, I just seen it on the scan. They've got the. 650 and the x670 for the same price the like strix should be fine if you get a strix version or you know like just one like the one above the tomahawk you know like a just a bit of a higher end one i think tomahawk that's what x670 think. x no b650 isn't it now so b650 use. yeah because nothing yeah. wrong with b650 the chipset is not the the issue yeah. the issue is just making sure that the rest of the board is built to be you you know be used with the chips rather than just be technically compatible you know, you want that longevity and you want to make sure you're able to give it enough power to extract the full full amount. But speaking of, I've just plugged these CPU connections in here uh, at the top. Sorry if the camera works a bit funny. I, I got a bit lost in that question. <laughs> uh, but there you go. That's the CPU plugged in now. Uh, and then I think the final thing to do, oh, is not drop screws on the floor. Final thing is to plug the GPU in. Which should be fun. So remember I said you don't want to daisy chain, but I'm personally happy to daisy chain one of them because you're not going to be using the full amount of power across both. Whereas if you were doing this on like a two pin or two times eight pin, uh, then you might find that you're gonna run into issues where you've not got stable power. But reminder that we're using three eight pins, so two of them are gonna come direct from the PSU. I don't have a problem in recommending that, but if you're concerned, obviously, then just use three, because this does come with three, so you can, can do that. Carl. Yeah, ready for another question? No. Oh, yeah, I am. Okay, right, fine. Uh, <laughs> somebody said, um, the, uh, the card looks a bit tight in there. Is it gonna be restricted for airflow? Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Yep. Yes, it is. Um, you'll find that the bigger the card design, you can run into issues where, yeah, the cooling is actually worse because you're not able to feed it with all the fresh air. But, but it's big enough that you do have some airflow coming in the bottom and there's plenty of force com coming through. Um, and it, it will feed a bit out the side. But yeah, it's not great. <laughs> that you guys wanted this in this case, you chose. We could have used the... Ugh. If you wanted airflow. <laughs> if you, you wanted airflow, you could have had the much more airflow orientated case that has mesh side panels, right? That would probably be a better choice. Or if we'd gone for, you know, this again, it's all your fault, guys. It's all your fault. <laughs> Uh, if you'd gone for the smaller card, that would have also got more airflow. But 
I'm not concerned. This is a big, <laughs> massive uh, GPU. It ran at about 52 degrees uh, when I was testing it earlier today in a bigger chassis, so I don't think it's actually a concern. Um, it's just, yeah, be aware that obviously airflow is slightly limited, but I, I, I don't think we're having a big issue personally. No, no, I think yeah, the physical size of it should be able to... Uh... The girth, with it. <laughs> yeah, uh, the yeah. actual mass of the card. We'll see, but yes, it looks a bit silly. Uh, people are complaining because you're blaming us now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is, or is this a build you would recommend? <laughs> to be clear, when I blame you, I am joking. Um, that's Marshall. the fun of this. <laughs> that's the fun of this channel. Um, is it's good to do suggestions and then talk about them afterwards because always doing the perfect thing is great, but it doesn't sort of show you what happens if you don't do the perfect thing. And often learning from your mistakes is far more um, useful, isn't it, and beneficial. I think uh, it's, it's a good showcase for um, what not to do. Yeah, I mean, this is a bit Or what manufacturers are forcing well. you to do nowadays. That's quite annoying. Need, if you, you need to cable tie that neatly, actually. Oh, I know what I've done. I've gone it. That's, I, I did think, hole. yeah. Dangerous. You don't want to put it in the wrong hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just stay silent for that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> not that I think... No, anyway, not, we're not going there. Um, we'll put that in. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's some people saying about removing the uh, PSU shroud, but I don't think it is removable. And uh, I feel like it kind of... Uh, takes away from the whole point of using the case then. yeah it doesn't come out there <laughs> um yeah if you have a cable tie you can neaten that up a little bit better but it's not actually uh <laughs> um is there none anywhere there should be some in the bag <laughs> well i can use the other connection but i mean i always feel like it's wrong to do this what are your thoughts uh well everyone let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on using the end of the daisy chain bit. Do you I, don't, I don't think it makes too much difference, really. I don't know. I'm not an expert on uh, PSU graphics card power delivery. I know a fair bit, but I don't know whether that actually matters or not. But there you go. That's a cheat's way of tidying it up. There you go. But there we go. What do we think? Um, no, actually, I lied, because still got to go around the back and plug in our Molex fans. Oh, no. I'm not particularly impressed with this case, I'll be honest. I need to know the price point, but unless this is really cheap, I think there are better options out there, I'll be honest. But then, you know, the shape is nice, and the fans might be okay. It's not actually always as bad as you think with Molex fans, because if they run slowly and quietly, it's well, it's not really too bad. But if they're like... not very good for uh, airflow. <laughs> no, but if you think you don't actually often have your case fans particularly loud... Yeah. If they're tuned properly, they don't really need to do it very often, so... Um, yeah. Well, let's see if this works. Um, we need a monitor. Oh, what we did last time, we used the uh, thing, <laughs> didn't we? The, uh, on top of them. Yeah. Um, don't mind me. <laughs> no one needs to know. Where's the off button on this camera? There. Oh. Push it the other way. That's it. There we go. Right. Right. <laughs> Careful. Careful. Don't destroy anything. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Right. We'll plug this in over HDMI. Get that in. We'll get our power connection. What do you guys think, by the way, about the way it looks? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts down below. It is a bit tight. <laughs> but it is also a small computer, though. Like, let's it's not forget, it's ITX. a small case. Well, the power button works, which was the thing that was concerning everybody. <laughs> uh, this is what it looks like. The Tough logo, it's pretty clean, actually, isn't it? I think that looks nice. There you go, from the front. Looks Fans decent. don't seem too loud. Nah, I see, that's okay. I mean, I'd much rather replace them with something else and put one on the back oh, yeah, as well. At the back. But there we go. It is what it is. Um, and we've got our lovely error code readout display on the front, so we can see everything that's going on. And if we do manage to actually get <laughs> anything... Somebody said the case acts as a great support bracket. 
Um, I'm now waiting to see if we get a signal. So we're doing this together. Look, we've got the the case acts as a CPU support bracket. That's funny. <laughs> we've got some green lights. I'm feeling, hey, there we go. There we go. We did it. New CPU installed. Happy days, everybody. Happy days. What do we think then? What is the verdict? The, uh, so I did a poll, happy with the build. Yeah. 105 votes so far. Yeah. Yes. 88%. I, see, this, this is why I went for the case, because I, you know, I wanted to do a build on it. Because the thing is, <laughs> it looks nice. There's no denying that it's a nice looking chassis. You've got mesh on the front, which is something that we actually need. And assuming you're not going for like a ridiculously big uh, GPU, <laughs> uh, then I don't think you're going to have an issue fitting things in. It's what just... about the uh, side panel? Can the side panel be closed? What, this one? No. Well, the other I one. think that's also a valid <laughs> thing to point out though, isn't it? Does this side panel go on? Oh, yeah, that's on. Is that on? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, See? Yeah. No need to worry about that at all. No drama there. Should we do the peel? Ooh. Peely peely. Peely peely. Although this might, oh. yeah, yep. thought that was gonna happen. Maybe I should secure it first and then do the peely peel. No captive thumb screws. It's just a bit cheap. It's just annoying because there's no need for it to be cheap, is there? Like, I, people, I, I don't think people are buying micro ATX cases like this because they're cheap. People would happily pay ten quid more. Yeah, it's really weird. But yeah, here's your peel. <laughs> Lovely noise. There you go, that's pretty clean. I think that is a good all-round looking system. It's just that the GP is too big, but it does fit. And as I say, yeah. I wouldn't be too worried about performance. It's... I think that looks quite good from that angle, though, doesn't it? Yeah. It's very, uh, you know, you're making the most of what you got there. Definitely. I mean, yeah, what are people saying? Do they like the look of this? It's definitely better than the one I did with the air cooler not that long ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people are happy. They've sat, people are saying they're satisfied. Um, <laughs> that's satisfaction. <laughs> the case and a Pringle have the same energy. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, it's going to require some cable management, guys. I'll <laughs> give you that. I'll give you that. Um, but I haven't actually stuffed anything down the bottom or anything yet, so... Um, that will go on. Um, maybe not at the moment. I think, I think it should be fairly comfortable. Yeah, there's a, there is actually... A, oh, you can't really see very well, but there is actually a decent enough gap in this tray so it's not going to be the easiest but yeah you shouldn't have a problem getting the side panel back on nice, but yeah. um, I can do it on camera but it just seems a bit pointless because I have to turn it off and then squash it all down uh, if you guys really want me to do that I will do that for you but I thought let's grab actually as genuinely part of the narrative now rather than just the plug the PC centric mouse mat that you can buy linked down below for the low low price of $29.99 USD I've priced it up uh, if you live in the UK and including delivery and VAT and stuff, I think it comes to the equivalent of about £39 shipped, which is pretty cool, actually. I'm happy with that. And this will serve you. I've had my mouse mat for ages. Um, I would love to get an RGB one of this made, but if we don't sell any, they won't get made. Well, that's the end of the merch. Sad times, PC centric is over. Um, but let's grab the keyboard and mouse. Do we know where the... Uh, bits are. We took them off, didn't we? The adapters. Um, I didn't take them off. No, I swear we saw them. <laughs> well, there's one. There's one. Is it underneath the other one? I don't know. Uh, this is where wired fanboys are going to find the comments. Well, I've got one. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but most people aren't mucking about with loads of different computers every day. Uh, so we do that. We'll turn PC, picture and picture back on. New CPU installed. What did it say? Um, oh yeah, firmware TPM. If you're using Windows 11, um, then the problem you'll find is, is this working now? Is the uh, keyboard connected or is it that one for the mouse? It might be that the USB is not enabled. That's quite annoying. I'll turn it off and on again. Try that. I just want to get in the BIOS and just see what the uh, speeds and things are. 
make sure RAM enables all of that good stuff. Uh, as it's good. Let's show you guys what we're doing. Um, while that's doing that, I'll go back to camera one so you can see me. It's fun times. <laughs> I should have made this full screen ages ago because it would have made it a lot easier. Now I can't see. <laughs> Firmware TPM. Oh, confusing. Right, there we go. ROG logo. No, this keyboard's not working. I think I know why. It's because I'm using the wrong one. Did you need to use the, the long boy? The long boy, yeah. I think that, that would explain it. I was getting confused. Oh. Right. Yeah, that's why. There we, there we go. Happy, happy days. Use the right keyboard, it all works. Yeah, exactly. No, PC centric mouse mat. Look, even with this super ridiculously large keyboard on there, still plenty of room to move your mouse around. I actually wouldn't recommend people buy big keyboards anymore. I don't. Unless you need the macro keys. I, I find it's annoying. I hit the macro keys all the time by mistake. Yeah, same. Frustrating. You did the same as me. You have two G9. Yeah, I got the exact same ones. The long boy and the small boy. And you also prefer the small boy. Is that correct? Yeah, the small boy feels better. But for like day-to-day -day stuff, I do prefer the number pad still. Oh, you do? Yeah. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Ryzen motherboards, please update them as soon as you get them because it is actually quite annoying. Oh, there we go, there we go, we're in, we're in, we're in. BIOS is updating? <laughs> That's new. Why is the BIOS updating? How is the BIOS updating? Uh, There's no internet. <laughs> is, it a, is it a super clever self-updating motherboard? I don't know. Is it a new thing? That Look, BIOS is updating, please do not <laughs> shut down. <laughs> I don't Just know. Just whatever you do, don't turn it off. Yeah, never turn it off. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty, pretty cool well, anyway, don't I? Um, I don't know. What did people have any last questions before we uh, um, before we close this off and wrap yeah, this up? We've got a couple. Uh, we've got a couple of donations that have just come in. Some donations. We've got five dollars from Tristan Weir. Oh, that's so uh, nice. Thank you, Tristan. Uh, Ryzen nine seven nine fifty X, new motherboard, RAM, etc. Been using a thirty seventy for a while now. Would the forty eighty be worth it, or wait until forty ninety comes in stock? Uh, what's well, so a once a forty ninety? Yeah, 4080 or 4090. There's a massive difference in performance between a 4090 and a yeah. 4080. Uh, I can't see the 4090 drop in price. I can see the 4080 potentially drop in price. Yeah. Um, but if, you, if you're dead set on the performance of a 4090, that's what I would go for, personally. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not saying you need that, because no one really needs that, but it's, it's, it's a lot more performant. Uh, I don't know what happened to the... What, what was the computer we were taking apart earlier or I was using earlier? The, uh, it, the, the, the big boy. The Lee and Lee. The Lee and Lee. Uh, do I have another mouse? I'll use another mouse. It's okay. It's okay. Here's the mouse I used earlier. Yeah, here's, a, here's my the mouse I use more than any <laughs> other, the MX Master Productivity Power yeah. Mouse. Also looks great on the PC-centric mouse mat. Available at pccentric.store. <laughs> Link is down below. <laughs> uh, but here we go, look, so we're in the BIOS now. It's 4 a.m. apparently, it's not. Um, and because this is a ridiculously high-end board, you can do a lot of things to this. Uh, but all I normally do is just go into this Q fan control, and I just set everything to auto-detect, unless it doesn't work, which sometimes it doesn't. You need to fiddle this around. Uh, but just set everything really to silent or set it to manual if it's still quite loud but it's the case fans that are making the noise not anything else so that's done you want to make sure that resizable bar is enabled and once you've installed your drivers restart make sure it works uh, firmware tpm is enabled you need this for windows 11 but that's enabled by default so you shouldn't need to worry you've got this ai overclocking guide uh, that can look at your cooling solution and it will then intelligently sort of work out uh, how much it can overclock by. Uh, and it sort of restarts itself, overclocks, and just assesses thermals and gets to the point where everything is stable and running nice and fast and still has good cooling, keeps at that. It tends to work quite well, but obviously do be aware of the limitations there. Uh, but the main one most people want to do is just go to uh, overclock tuner and turn Expo or XMP on. So we turn on Expo and it shows you the speeds. Expo 2 shows you the other settings. But we go Expo 1. And then we just save and reset. And that should, hopefully, boot straight into Windows because I've already put that on this machine. But otherwise, you just grab a USB drive 
Uh, download the Windows 10 or 11 installer. 11 is the way to go. It's just annoying for me, but don't worry about that. Uh, um, and you pop it in the back, and then it should just load in, basically, um, straight to Windows installer. And then just follow the instructions, add in your product key, and you're golden, really. And that is how to build the PC. I think this is pretty cool. Oh, um, that's a... That's a Nice rounded off ending. That is a uh, fantastic. Don't say the word end because as soon as you say the word ending, people leave. I was oh. I was genuinely been given that as advice. Yeah. Don't don't wrap up. Don't wrap up. Never just, wrap just up. End abruptly. That's bad always. advice. That's bad <laughs> advice. Um, this is what I mean about motherboard um, updating by the way because it looks as if we're actually stuck error on code 15. error code fifteen. So yeah. this could be doing some memory training, but it does look as if this memory is being a little bit funny. But I think once you've installed a BIOS update, you should be fine. It's just that X670 and X670E, all of that stuff, is actually really quite um, new. So not all of the BIOSes actually want to work with it. But this actually might be OK. We've got another super chat from DRTYD, maybe Dirty D. Dirty D. Yeah. But with no I. Still error code 15, actually. I thought we were there, but we're not. <laughs> OK, last questions. Get them in, guys, because, yes, we are going to wrap up now. Um, uh, I got last Asus questions. Oros Aorus Extreme X570 motherboard that comes with its own fan controllers box hub thing. Yeah. Can I use Corsair IQ RGB fans with it, or do I have to use the Corsair? What was the hub, sorry? Uh, Corsair IQ RGB fans with an Aorus Extreme motherboard. Okay. Uh, I No, I think you have to use the IQ utility, but to be honest, that's better anyway. There we go. Look, we're in. Yeah. We made I think it. You have to use, for RGB control and all that, you have to use the Corsair thing. Yeah. I think you, you can get fan speeds through the motherboard, but it's just why bother if you've got the hub anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, just just use the IQ controller because to be fair, like it's a lot of cabling and it is pretty annoying. But um, actually, the the Corsair stuff is is the best software and best control out there, if you ask me. There we go. We're in. Happy days. Computer works. Confirmed. Don't have to drive it for this. Um, so yeah, we will leave it there. But thank you so much for everyone that has checked out this video. Honestly, it does mean a lot. I know I've plugged this a lot, but obviously it means a lot. If you want to grab the PC-centric mouse mat, that th this this could be the only time that you'll be able to get one, uh, then please do go to the link down below and grab yourself one of these lovely things, brighten up your setup, and you can be part of the PC-centric merch club. Uh, but thank you so much for everyone that has donated as well. Really appreciate it. Everyone that's tuned in from the start or for just the last five minutes. Honestly, it means a lot. Thank you so much to Carl for joining us on the stream. Thank you very much for having me. It's been, always a pleasure. It's been fun. Yeah, yeah. It's always fun reading the comments and keeping things, keeping everybody up to date with what they want to know. And people know you now and they know your yeah. dog. They can hear me now. I suppose that's the uh, biggest difference. Yeah, rather than... <laughs> so I had this comment. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, that's great. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. Um, please do subscribe if you're not already. Check out the previous build, including the benchmarks of um, the 7900 XTX in yesterday's video that's gone live. But I did actually promise you guys some um, benchmarks on this. In Battlefield, on this exact GPU, I was getting about... 120, 130 FPS at 4K, um, everything maxed out other than ray tracing, 1440p 200. Apex Legends, we got about 220 at 4K, get on between 220, 250 at 4K max settings, which is insane, 300 at 1440p. And in Cyberpunk, at my actual desired settings that I played Cyberpunk at when I originally played it, which was ray traced shadows only, at 4K with FSR, I was still getting about 60 to 70 FPS, which I think is very good. So it's a capable card. It just falls over as soon as you turn all the ray tracing up to max. So if you don't mind about that, highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this stream. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.